Hard to believe it's been seven weeks, and this is day three. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us for the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. I'm Sean Parr. I've got Mary and Zach here from Country Outdoors, and, of course, my good buddy. This is my brother in RVing, Chris Young. Always good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, too, brother. You look spiffy and nice today. Boy, that is a great-looking outfit you have on. As do you, sir. You look look fantastic. Do you guys coordinate this before you head on your trips? Same shoes and everything. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, we, we when you got somebody like Sean up here take, taking the hosting every day, making it happen, <laughs> I got to have somebody to look up to, and it's always Sean. So hey. it's Sean and Sean, not Chris and Chris. That's right. My <laughs> idol, my highest title. That's the Sean Parr over there. Dr. <laughs> Parr, as I call it. True story, though. We do got Hey, what are you going to wear? Black pants tomorrow? Well, okay, yeah, we do, yeah, so we do talk about it. <laughs> yeah, we, we're out to dinner having a good time and just uh, making sure we, uh, we coordinate, which is a beautiful thing. And listen, speaking of which, we got some incredible things to talk about today and some yeah. big deals and some some big, we like to call them ultimate giveaways. Yes, and it's not too late to enter to get into the competition. Simply text URVS to 46642 or comment URVS in the comments right now. And what are we giving away today, Mary? Oh. What are we giving away? We are giving away an XLR Boost. Oh, oh, to you. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> we do need new toy haulers. Somebody wins an RV at the end of the day today. And, uh, Chris, you got to get out of here, man. I We're going to put you in the Puma to, to kick things off. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? You guys have fun. I'll see you when I get into Pumas here in a minute. Bye. All right, looking what? forward Big to on. that. See, we keep them working. We keep them hopping. He is so busy all the time. Well, we certainly appreciate the work that uh, Chris does. But it's great having our special guest host this week, yes. Zach, Mary. And we're going to talk. Uh, get into some camouflage. We're going to get into some hunting. Competition. And, oh, we got a big oh, competition boy. to get yeah. to. So yeah. that is going to be huge. Let's get started, though. We're going to go over to the Forest River Puma that Chris was just talking about. The 31 FKRK. Take a look at this. Oh, it's a mid RV show. Is there any else? I need more RVs. Help! Hey! Help! Hey! Oh, hey, Fritz. What's up, buddy? Hey! Um, sorry. Chris Young, Ultimate RV Show. It is the parade of Pumas, and I just happened to be, um, I, I, was, I was meditating heavily uh, on this 31 FKRK, which is front kitchen uh, rear king, because this is a comfortable king-size bed in this beauty. You're looking at a family RV that has features packed uh, at an entry-level price that you're not going to find pretty much anywhere including washer dryer prep, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. 37 feet long, 8,700 pounds dry. A lot of the Pumas are built to be towed by half-ton trucks because uh, when, when Vern invented these back in 1968, when he started making them, he wanted to give people something lightweight, uh, durable, but also affordable, family-friendly, and uh, just towable by half-ton trucks. And Puma has been doing it for years. They're no name. Uh, the parade of Pumas, we wanted to kind of just highlight how great they are. And this king-size bed that I'm laying on right now is extremely comfortable. I don't even want to get up, but I know I got to. 37 feet, 8,700 pounds dry, starting at $32,995, as low as $7.90 a day for you to get out and see America the safest way possible. Strut-supported storage underneath. The king-size bed is in its own slide. You got storage up top. Plus, I got my corner notches right there, my little cubby holes. Beautiful mirrored ward here on this back cabinet. Plenty of space to hang whatever you want to hang. And the great thing about RVs, um, you know, if you want to use it for a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin, if you want to, you know, set something up or just go to the state parks, you know, whatever you want to do, they're your RV. They give you the freedom to hit the open road and go do and see America the safest way possible. This one does have a special feature. A separate closet, storage, but also is a washer-dryer prep. And if you notice, they got the dryer and the washer on their own 110s. Very nice little touch there. Prep over here on the right-hand side. You don't want to put in a washer dryer, just use this for extra storage. Great space for fishing rods, cases, uh, hunting cases, the whole nine. Plus, you got your own separate entry coming into the master. So if you want true separation of space, you want to come and go as you please. Maybe the kids, you're going to go out and stay at the lake or the mountains a little bit longer than everybody else. They, you can come and go as you please. They can come and go as they please. You don't have to worry about waking anybody up. If you just want to go for a moonlight stroll, you know, at night. Because let, let me ask, when was the last time you got a chance to do that? With your loved one, just go out to a lake and just walk the shoreline. Or just go sit out and look at the stars. When was the last time you got a chance to do that? 
I think you owe it to yourself, don't you? We didn't get to do what we wanted to do in 2020. And, and look, let me just be real with you. Sure, my job is to tell you about RVs and how great they are. And we got 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. We got over 160 locations, people standing by to help you answer any questions you may have. But at the end of the day, what I'm trying to do is tell you that this is your reason to fulfill your dream. That's what RVs are. Sure, they're metal and they're aluminum and they're you know insulation and they're vinyl and all of a sudden the other thing, but they're a way for you, it's a vehicle for you to complete your dream of reconnecting with your loved ones and getting out safely and securely and seeing America. That's really what it is. And if I could do that for every family, I'd be the happiest person on the planet. We walk out here into the living area and I tell you what I'm gonna do, Fritz, I'm gonna hold that door let you come through and then we're gonna get to this in a minute, but first I gotta show you the bathroom. So, walk out of the master bedroom where you have your own door and right here in the, in the uh, bathroom, check it. Neo angled shower with the glass enclosure, high rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush. You got that large single basin sink over there, medicine cabinet, lots of storage. And if you wanna come see one of these RVs, if you wanna come feel it, or if you wanna have one of our specialists walk you through a virtual walkthrough, just drop us a comment down below, fresh, or text fresh to 46642. We have people standing by right now who will go through any RV that we have with over 80,000 coming and over 20,000 on the lot. They will be able to answer your questions and help you find the one that's right for you. But if you want something like this 31 FKRK, you want this beautiful center living front kitchen style RV, this one starts at $32,995 or so as $7.90 a day. Look at the area, the space that I have here. These Thomas Paine recliners that are comfortable, plush. I got my cup holders. They kick out large panoramic windows with the wood balances and the privacy shades. And right across from me is my entertainment center. Look at that beautiful decor with a 31 inch LED backlit fireplace has multiple flame settings, multiple light settings, 5200 BTUs of heat coming off of there as well. Plus I got some good component shelf storage space right there. Actually, <clears throat> I would use that as grab and go spot. If you got backpacks, if you like to hike, bike, whatever, and you need to grab and go, maybe the Kavu bags, the water bags, the backpack, this is a good spot for that. Got your sound bar mounted in, DVD, Bluetooth, CD. Got the TV mount right here with my HDMI. 13.5 BTU AC, 35,000 BTU furnace on this bad boy. Solid door with the bevel walking into my pantry. Check that out. You're not gonna go short of storage space on this beauty. Once again, this is the Forest River Puma 31 FKRK, starting at $32,995 or as low as $7.90 a day. Easily sleeps four. You got two back there on a king size bed. You can get one right here on your booth dinette with storage, side opening <clears throat> under both sides. This is your reconnection spot. Make your camp cooked meal, play the cards, play the board games. Uh, my, my wife and I, with the kids, we've gotten really big into playing skip bow with the uh, pandemic. Never played it before. Apparently she was like a skip bow champion when she was a kid. I didn't know it was a thing. Um, the kids love it. We took the RV out to a lakeside. We thought we were gonna have some really good outdoor time when it started raining really bad. And we came inside and played skip bow right here at the booth dinette. We could have done that at home. We could have easily done that at home. But the kids talk about that and they talk about how much fun it was because we weren't home. We were in our RV away from everything. We've been home. We've been cooped up in home. It's time to get out. You got to go, man. It is time to get out, see America the safest way possible with a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge freezer combo with, look at this front kitchen. Fritz, look at. Look, do you know what I could make right here? Do you know all the delicious delicacies I could build and create with this solid surface press countertop right here? I got my drying rack right on top of my undermounted farmhouse style sink, stainless steel with the sprayer nozzle, and bam, right out there. If I wanna pull up and I wanna go to the North Shore, I wanna go to the Black Hills, I wanna go to the Dells, I wanna go just do whatever. I wanna go see Roosevelt Park. I wanna go to the Peace Gardens. 
I could pull up and sit here with my loved one with a cup of coffee, watch the sunrise, watch the sunset. I got beautiful amenities all the way around, flush mounted microwave, flush mounted three burner cooktop. Come on, man. Do I, starting, I mean, starting at $7.90 a day to easily sleep for people in style and comfort that you're used to at home and you owe it to yourself. Go ahead and drop that comment down below, RV, or text RV to 46642. This beautiful Forest River Puma 2021, which is a 31 FKRK, starts at 32995 Now, up top, you really can't see it because we're not tall enough. John's tall, but I mean, we can't really reach it up there. You got that, yeah, can you see it? You got that Diflex TPO roof. What does that mean? That means it's durable. Roofs are where you have a lot of the problems. At Forest River, the Pumas, they did not skip on your roofs. That Diflex 2 TPO roof, not only is it fully walkable, it's durable, easy to clean, can get up there and it's gonna last long. We also have the dark oak underbelly, which is a wrap that encloses this underbelly. While you're down there, you'll see we got a, a electric stabilizer jacks, got my LP quick connect there. So if I wanna do some grilling right here under the large awning with the LED light strip, I got my speakers going. I'm pre-wired for Wi-Fi, so if I want to get the booster for LG, uh, LTE, boom, Wi-Fi, I can. I can stay connected while I'm on the road, get away from everything. Maybe you want to take the kids out, let them see the things that they're learning about here at this distance learning or, or w whatever. Just get out and do it. Double axle on this beautiful RV. You got the aluminum rims with the nitro-filled tires on the Dexter Easy Lube axles. I got the solid step-over steps going into the main entry point here. I got a TV mount power and cable connection right there. And I was like, okay, if I wanna do some outside stuff, I got myself a little sprayer port right here. Got me a little sink, I could do some cleaning. I got my Everchill fridge with the little ice rack right here because when you're having your outdoor bourbon, when you're outdoor enjoying things, you gotta have your outdoor ice to do that. More power ports right here. Power stabilizer jacks both in the front and in the rear. You got the fiberglass end cap and there's that privacy window that I was talking about in the kitchen. Twin 30 pound LP tanks, powered tongue jack with LED light. Come around here to the off camp side. And you can see we got more storage here. We got slides, we got our connections, our terminations, the whole nine. We won't be able to show you everything that we want to show you during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. But here's the thing, with over 160 locations of Camping World, Gander, RV, and Outdoors, plus we got thousands of people standing by right now who will answer all the questions that you might have. Chris, I like that Forest River Puma 31 FKRK. Starting at $32,995 or as low as $7.90 a day. Sleeps for 8,700 pounds, 37 feet long roughly. Uh, that's great. Okay, if you like that, drop me a comment down below, RV or text RV to 46642. We can actually have this delivered to you without even leaving the comfort of your couch or your camp chair. But if you say, eh, I don't need anything, I need bunks, or I want a toy haul, I want a fifth wheel, I want a class A, I want a class C, I want a class B. We got over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. Just text FRESH to 46642 or drop us a comment down below. FRESH, we'll have people standing by to walk you through and find the one that's right for you. Now, since we are up here in beautiful Minnesota, we got Wisconsin right next door, North and South Dakota. There are a lot of shows going on right now, like the Ultimate RV Show. Competition, if you want to go there, that's absolutely fine. I mean, you can also put ejector seats on your helicopter. I think you'll accomplish the same task. But hey, if you think you got a better deal, trust me, I'm going to beat it or I'll give you a thousand bucks in cash guaranteed. Just give me a chance. Text BEAT to 46642 or drop me a comment down below BEAT. Parade of Pumas is going to continue next with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. I'm Sean Parr and welcome to the Ultimate RV Show National Tour Winter Games. 
This is where it gets good. Now, we've got, of course, Mary and Zach from Country Outdoors and us, the Remingtons, going toe to toe. They're going to do some dressing over here. They're going to do some fishing. They're going to jump on some bikes. They've got an obstacle course. They're going to end up with Chris Young and a mannequin with some deer horns. We're not even quite sure that's legal. Let's get it shut. You better believe it, Oso. Here comes the whistle on my call. On your marks. Get set. And away they go. Stepping out of the way, here we go. Mary looks good, she's done this before. Here she comes on the inside. Oh, but Tiffany's coming up at the end. She grabs the jacket. Strike Force is on the move. Having some issues, getting some help from Caleb. Mary's got the hat on. Who's gonna make the cast first? It's gotta go in the bucket. The first one to make it into the bucket, their partner gets to move on to the bicycles. Oh my goodness! Mary having some trouble. Here comes Tiffany with some trouble. Mary's having some issues with the reel. There goes Tiffany. Oh, some obvious. There she's obviously very strong. Oh, Mary just missed that one. Here comes Tiffany with another shot. Having trouble. Oh, a little bit lighter touch. She doesn't have her glasses, neither does Mary. This could be a long fishing experience. It does take quite a while to catch a fish. Let's see if we can get it in the bucket. Tiffany almost made that one. All right, one more cast. Here it comes. Oh, and Mary just hit Zach in the upper area. Here we go with Tiffany. Oh, and hit the bucket. Hit the bucket. There he goes. It hit the bucket. Mary got to hit the bucket. She's having trouble. Here, use this one, Mary. Use this one. There she goes, in the bucket, go Mary, go! Here comes on the outside. It looks like Caleb's got the lead. Now here comes Zach. He's got flat tires, nobody cares. Here they come down the lane, making the turn! Unbelievable! Did you see the style? The way he took the turn like a NASCAR driver. Here they go now. They've got their vests on. Turkey vests away, and here comes Caleb back. Now it's Zach. What's now it's man? Caleb coming on the outside. Mary. Down Come they on. go. Come Chris, on, guys. Come on. Make the call. Come on. Oh. Oh, Caleb is one hand in that thing. Come on. Oh, here comes Zach. Come on. Here we go. You got to get the ring on the horn. You got to get the ring on the antler. Oh, come on. Do the turkey call. Turkey call. Oh, we got a struggle with it. Zach and Mary, oh, <laughs> just like a professional frisbee golf. Blow the whistle, Sean. We got ourselves a winner. What an unbelievable contest that was! The first ever Winter Games Challenge, right here, Kendra RV and Outdoor, and of course, as the ultimate RV show national tour continues, both champions. Great job, but we crown the us. No, you guys actually did it, right? I didn't see it, I was too far away. Great call, Zach and Mary from Country Outdoors. We're all out of breath, but listen, we've got more great deals coming up and we are ready to continue with our national tour. Great job, guys. Oh, sportsmanship, yes, family, united. Here we go, see you soon. Whew. The Parade of Pumas continues with a 36 feet, 5 inch, 8,700 pound dry, 7 sleeper known as the Forest River Puma 32 BHKS. What's up? It's Chris Young standing in the separated bunk room of this BHKS. Now, this beauty starts at $34,995 or slow as $8.38 for your chance to take you and six of your family members or friends out to see America the safest way possible. And the Pumas, they're the best toe in town. They were made, started back in 1968. When Vern came up with the idea for him, he wanted something lightweight that was towable by either a lightweight truck or an SUV so that families of pretty much any size could get out and see America without having to upgrade their truck. And ever since then, Forest River picked them up and they have just increased in quality and increased in amenities year over year. Now this 32 BHKS here in the separated bunk room 
we got a solid door that's angled, separating the living area from the bunk space. And right over here on the campsite, we got a double over bunk that's sitting on top of the entertainment center. Now this is a 38 by 76 bunk size, 300 pound capacity. So you could easily get an adult up here or a couple of kids. You got a large panoramic window right there, entertainment center, uh, center underneath. So if you wanna put a TV, you know, components, whatever you could, you got storage shelves. I got my hideaway ladder over here. I got my little storage cabinet right there. And of course, because everybody has to charge their cell phone, you know, their, their iPads or tablets, you got the dual USB charging port right there. But what makes this bunk room unique, sure, over here on the off camp side, we have another twin over jackknife sofa, which is, uh, this is a 32 by 69. So it's just a little bit shorter than the one that's on the campsite, but still 300 pound capacity. I got my little jackknife sofa right here that folds out, get comfortable there. But we have a little snap supported pantry storage right there or wardrobe storage, whatever you want to store is there. Now, if you're using this as a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin, this right here makes some good space. Or if you want to play hide and go seek, let me see if I can get my fat butt in here. Count to 20, I'm coming out. You got the room to do that, <laughs> barely. Uh, most of y'all are thinner than me, so I don't have to worry about it. Fritz told me to suck it in before he cut the camera on anyway, and I didn't listen. Uh, but what makes this unique is you have this additional storage space. So if you're setting this up as a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin, what a nice to have, or if you do have the family coming along, what a nice to have for the additional storage space in there. And since you're looking at a Forest River Puma, you're going to have the 35,000 BTU furnace, the 15,000 BTU AC, the great insulation, the bow floor flooring that's slip resistant and easy to clean. So you're going to have all those features and amenities that you come to expect from a Forest River and a Puma product. And when we come out into the living area, we have opposing slides that opens up the area, allowing for us to have an island kitchen. But check out my entertainment center, man. This not only is the 39 inch TV on a swivel, we got the connections there, but I got my sound bar built in, another component space. I got the backsplash, this textured, beautiful, not only uh, is it aesthetically pleasing, it's textured, so it feels good, it feels rugged, it feels like you're in your home, which when you get your RV, that's exactly what you're doing. You're getting your home so you can take it with you whenever you wanna go see America the safest way possible. You got the 31 inch Greystone fireplace right there, multiple flame settings, multiple light settings, has about 5,100 BTUs of heat that'll come off of it too. Come back from a nice snowy day, put your boots under the little uh, mud space right there, cut the fireplace on, kick back on the other jackknife sofa right here, and you'll see I have the fold down storage door because a lot of times with the jackknife sofas, uh, you have to lift it up to get to the storage space underneath. And it can be a little bit awkward because it's either gonna sit like this or it's gonna come flat as a bed. So having this option here, the little door with the secure hinges, it's a nice touch. Get you some storage bins, put it underneath there, you're good to go. But when you're ready to sit down, chill, reconnect, plush, cloth sofa yes this is cloth not the leatherette so less sweating less sticking i really like these with large panoramic windows privacy shades wood balances and lots of storage up above and pretty much wherever you sit and sleep with the forest river pumas you are going to get the dual usb charging ports convenience because i mean you know everybody's got what nine cell phones nowadays i, I still got a star tack you remember them little flip phones Yes, I still have that. Fritz is laughing. You think I'm joking? I got my Star Tac. I'm, it doesn't work. I don't know who I'm talking to when I call. Most of the time, they don't speak my language. But hey, I got communications. Don't know the number, but I got it. Somebody will come get me if I get in trouble. I ain't worried about it. Frosted glass inlays, upgraded Wi-Fi 4G LTE prep as well. If you want to get that so you can stay connected, you absolutely can. Wood inlays here on my slide, light and dark. The accents will be dark. You got the lighter interiors because people have spoken. They said, we want lighter interiors. We want brighter spaces. We want more storage space, but we want darker furniture and darker accents. It's just, just looks better. It's cleaner, shows wear and tear less. And check out this design on my cushions. How cool is that? They didn't have to do that. They could have just given you a flat gray cushion but they didn't. They wanted you to have an upgraded experience and a nice homey feel. You got storage underneath both sides, your booth dinette right here, extended dinette. This reduces down into a sleeper. 
And once again, this one will sleep up to seven people comfortably. 8,600 pounds, 36 feet, five inches long. You got a 43 gallon fresh tank, 35 uh, dual 35s, gray and black are both 35 gallons, and starts at $34,995 or as low as $8.38 a day. To sleep seven, get out and see America the safest way possible. Did you go on vacation this year? Did you get a chance to take your family out? Did you do what you wanted to do or were you pigeonholed because of everything going on? Chris, I don't want to buy a plane ticket. I don't want to get a hotel room. I don't know who I'm going to be sitting next to. I don't know who's been in that hotel room. I didn't clean it. It's not mine. Well, now with your RV, you can. It's yours. And if you want an island kitchen with a solid pressed surface countertop and a drying rack sitting on top of your undermounted stainless steel sink with your residential sprayer nozzle, you can get that. We have over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. This segment is just talking about the Pumas. We have so many that if I spent 10 minutes talking about all 80,000 coming, I can't do math, but that's a lot of hours. During the Ultimate RV Show, we don't have that many hours. So we try to highlight some of the special ones, let you see some of the features, let you envision what it would be like when you get out, you take your family, you take your loved ones, and you go on vacation, you go ice fishing, you go turkey hunting, you go and do what you want to do because you owe it to yourself to do it. And when you throw in amenities like an 11 cubic foot Everchill 12 volt fridge freezer combo, you got enough room to keep all the walleye you're gonna catch. You got enough room to store your beer, to store your water, to store the apple juice, the grape juice, the orange juice, whatever you want. The Girl Scout cookies, whatever you want to put in there. You got the space for it. You're gonna have plenty of storage inside these Pumas, but there is going to be an RV that fits your lifestyle and your budget guaranteed. We have RVs that start at less than $5 a day. This one's only $8.38 a day. Starting at $34,995 with this beautiful interior. Here, life's an adventure. Go enjoy the ride, find your RV. More prep space over here, flush mounted three burner cooktop, flush mounted graystone. And the, the negative is I won't get a chance to show you all the features inside these RVs. That's why we have people standing by to help you pick the one that's right for you. If you need a true pass through bathroom and not just one that's separated like this one with the Neo angle shower, cause you want the glass enclosure, you want the large sink, you want the plastic bowl with the foot flush, we got you covered. We absolutely got you covered. Look at this beautiful interior. Just looks nice. That's why I like the Pumas. When they said it's the best toe in town, they meant it. They absolutely meant it. Solid doors separating. Oh, I tell you what, Fritz, I'm gonna let you get in there. Here, go check out that master bedroom. And then we'll go outside. You got that queen size bed storage underneath, mirrored wards on both sides. You got your little cubby notches, USB charging ports. And this one starts at $34,995. So if you say, Chris, how do I get this one? Very easy. Just drop me a comment down below RV or text RV to 46642. Now this Puma happens to be one of the aluminum sided, but you still get that automotive coating on there, the tough coat that gives you that UV protection that will not only extend the life of the camper, it'll also keep all those graphics from fading. Got solar panels, you can trickle charge your battery. Got your quick connect right there. Got me some finished off pass through storage. Love it. Underneath, I got my powered stabilizer jacks, both on the front and the rear. Speaking of the front, check out my diamond plated rock guard. That seamless super flex roof going over the top, which is fully walkable, easy to clean. Twin 30 pound LP tanks on this one, plus powered tongue jack. And all starting at $34,995, as low as $8.38 a day for nine bucks a day. Let's just do the math on that, because I'm not good at it. You go to the campsite once a month. You've more than made up your money. Because imagine what it would cost to get travel, plane tickets, hotel, all this, that, and the other thing. And then your hotel room's probably not gonna have a kitchen like that with a fridge like that, where you can prepare your own meals with the family, do that reconnection. Maybe you wanna go fishing, catch your own fish, clean it and cook it. Why not? Come outside, you got a large awning with the LED light strip, which we don't have out right now, but you got dual speakers over here, which are dual zone entertainment from the inside of the out. TV mounter here, so if I wanna set up outside, maybe I wanna watch a football game, I, I can. Back here, 
which I know is going to be a little tight. Oh, it's locked and I can't get to it. An outside kitchen. But that's why we have specialists standing by so you can see these things and they can walk you through it. All you got to do to get them to do it is text RV to 46642 or drop me a comment down below RV. Now, if you say, Chris, I like that Forest River Puma 32 BHKS. Starting at $34,995 or as low as $8.38 a day, that's great. But I want something bigger. I want something smaller. I want a Class C, I want a Class A. That's fine. We got 80,000 units coming, over 20,000 on the lots already. Text FRESH to 46642. Drop me a comment down below. FRESH, one of our specialists will walk you through what you want to see. Now, you say, Chris, you know there's some shows going on around town. You're up here in Minnesota. I understand there's another show going on, so I'm going to go check out the competition because I think I can get a better deal. Well, I think you could accomplish the same thing, putting handlebars on a snowball. But that's your call. If you give me a chance to beat any deal you think you're going to get, I'm going to beat it or give you a thousand bucks in cash guaranteed. Just text BEAT to 46642 or drop BEAT down below in the comment bar. It's been all about the parade of Pumas. We got more when the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Sean Parr, got Mary and Zach here, and of course from uh, Outdoor Country, and uh, Country Outdoors, sorry, and uh, we're just having a great time. It's time for an ultimate giveaway. We're Woo! not messing around. We told you they were going to come fast. Yes. They were going to come furious. Today is the day. At the end of the day, somebody wins an RV, and we have the Coleman, and I love, yeah, this scooter is so cool. As a matter of fact, I have tried to get one so many times, and uh, like people buy them up so fast at our locations at Gander RV and Outdoor and, of course, Camping World around the country. They're insane. But it's right over here. It's the Coleman uh, 49cc scooter. Where, what? Where is it? I think you're losing it, Sean. It was, it was right there. Hold on, it's Sean, right here. It's right there. How did it get over here? I, I think you need to sleep with some coffee, mate. You know what? <laughs> It's been a crazy weekend. Maybe it's the sub-zero temperatures. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, let's get a winner. Before you uh, announce the winner, how did they register? Guys, they're giving away a lot of awesome stuff. All you have to do to get registered is text URVS to 46642 or comment it in the comments below. That's it. Now, the winner, can I announce it? No, I just... It was over there. Sean, anyway, it was. Sean, I'm going to get you a coffee. Somebody get this man a coffee, please. <laughs> Jeez. Let's All do right. it. Bring it on. The winner is... Clara Sexton! Clara Sexton, you got yourself Woo! this awesome scooter over here. Congratulations. More winning on the way. But right now, it is the amazing Parade of Pumas continuing. Take a look at this. The 28 DBFQ. Chris, what do you got? Back in 1968, it started as Vern Landy's dream. He was a tent builder. And he said, you know what? I want to make something a little bit more. Then he started making the Pumas. The best tow in town, quality built, family pride, and manufactured just outside of a small town in Michigan that he wanted families to enjoy being able to reconnect for years to come. Welcome to the parade of Pumas at the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up, it's Chris Young. We wanted to take a few minutes and highlight this very special brand of RVs from our friends at Forest River. Now, Forest River took over for Vern uh, back in, I believe it was close to 2010. Uh, but since 68, he had been making the Pumas for families to get out and enjoy camping with style and luxury and amenities that you won't find in what's pretty much known as entry-level RVs. A wide array of floor plans, everything from fifth wheels to everything you can imagine inside a travel trailer, you can find in the Puma line. And with over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, over 20,000 on the lot, there's a Puma out there that's right for you. So lock in that show pricing right now by texting FRESH to 46642 or drop us a comment down below, FRESH. The one I'm standing in right now is the 2021 Puma 28 DBFQ. It's a double bunk family RV that has 
has a U-shaped dinette, plenty of space, and tons of amenities. Easily sleeps nine, roughly 6,900 pounds dry, 32 feet, 10 inches long. And let's start right back here in the off-camp side with the double over double bunks. Now, 300 pound max capacity, solid mounted ladder so that when you need the kids or the dogs or the adults, I mean, this is a great hunting cabin and fishing cabin too, to get up, you got something that's sturdy for them to latch onto. You know, I have to help um, my six year old uh, get up and down because he'll just run face first into this thing before he decides to start climbing. But great space for the kids, 300 pound capacity, uh, easily fit an adult up there. Underneath, you got dual USB charging on both top and bottom, plus power ports, mushroom lights right there, privacy curtains. And the thing I like about a lot of bunkhouse RVs is they have an access point in the rear bathroom so that if you got the kids or their family members with you, they want to come and go as they please, you want to come and go as you please, you have access to get in and out. Not only that, if you get dirty, maybe at the lake, the mountains, the, you know, doing whatever, you can come in and clean off without tracking everything into the main living area. Glass enclosure on our shower right here. Look at this residential surround that we have. Corner notches, I got brush nickel fixtures going all the way around this beautiful RV. Got myself a little skylight to give me some additional headroom. Now you got over 80 inches of height in here anyway. So with me being 6'2", if I stand up straight, I got plenty of headroom. I'm not gonna be cramped up or down or left or right. A nice touch is they give you the glass privacy doors. You don't get that in RVs at this price point. And you're talking about easily sleeping nine, this 28 DBFQ starts at $25,995 or as low as $6.42 a day. For you to get out and see America the safest way possible, that's a win all the way across the board. Got myself a corner mounted medicine cabinet and single vanity sink right here with the brush and nickel fixtures, toothbrush, cup holder, soap holder, another nice little feature. It's just little things that Puma puts in their RVs because they want you to enjoy the experience. They want you to have the things that you would have at home because if you don't enjoy the experience, you're not gonna do it again. And why subject you to something that you're not gonna enjoy? RVing is about getting out, seeing America the safest way possible, reconnecting with the family, but doing it with creature comforts of home. Take a look at my entertainment center right here. Come on, Puma. I hear you. Okay. We got the TV backer right here, HDMI cable, plus I got my auxiliaries if I need it. Power right there, 110s. Now, we are pre-wired for Wi-Fi. Uh, a lot of RVs are coming with that nowadays. And if you need to stay connected on the road, you can actually get the Wi-Fi, 4G, and LTE boosters popped into your RV. Great feature to have. IRV technology sound bar mounted in, DVD player, Bluetooth, HDMI, and you can control this from your app on your phone as well. More storage underneath, decorative splash right above the 31 inch fireplace. Now that joker right there, you'll see we got the lights on. Not only does it look good, that kicks off a lot of heat too. You're looking at you know a little more than 5,000 BTUs of heat that'll really do a good job of knocking the chill off the air. If you sit back on the leather jackknife sofa right here, you got the fold down arm right there, put your drinks in, reconnect with the loved ones. Got this going. You're gonna zonk out before you know it. Beautiful, decorative wood valances around the windows, privacy shades all the way around. More storage here as well. And since this is Forest River, you get that sustainable manufacturing with everything that they do. What does that mean? Well, they believe in shrinking their carbon footprint. So they reduce and they reuse, which allows them to pass along savings to the consumers. So this one starts at $25,995, or as low as $6.42 a day. Sleep nine people, roughly 6,900 pounds dry, 32 feet, 10 inches long. This is the Forest River Puma 28 DBFQ. Now, 43 gallon fresh tank, 65 gallon gray, 35 gallon uh, black tank. And if you say, Chris, I love it. Um, how do, I, how do I get this one? Well, it's really easy. We can actually send you the paperwork, have it delivered to you, and all you gotta do, drop me a comment down below, RV or text RV to 46642. You can also give us a call at 877-297-8725. But you're looking at large, beautiful panoramic windows, U-shaped dinette with storage underneath. This reduces down into a sleeper, which allows us to get that nine number. This is your reconnection spot. This is where you and your family can get out and do what you didn't get a chance to do in 2020. Whether it be see America the safest way possible, go view the beautiful lands that we have up here in Minnesota, in Wisconsin, in North or South Dakota, or 
just get out and go because we didn't get a chance to do it. You're reconnecting and making memories with the families, and that's what it's all about. And when you're talking about some creature comforts of home, just look no further than the campsite kitchen that we have over here. Solid surface, pressed countertops, undermounted farmhouse style sink with the dry and rack and the sprayer nozzle. I like that because it's residential, it looks good, plus it's modern. Backsplash, flush mounted three burner cooktop with the glass cover and the grill style grate. Got my LED accent lights and a large oven. So if you wanna do some baking, you know, maybe you wanna go out and catch a bunch of walleye. Come back. Pop it in the oven, bake it up, why not? I mean, we are up here where ice fishing and walleye fishing is some of the best on the planet. You got a 10 cubic foot fridge freezer combo that's 12 volt. Look at the space you could store all the fish in right there. Or beer, or water. I mean, I'm a fan of all of it because when you're out and about and you're, and you're doing your RV thing, you gotta enjoy it. And with the way that these Pumas are built, you're talking about a 35,000 BTU furnace, a 13,500 AC with the quick cool that's ducted. I mean, this bow floor flooring right here, laminated composite that's waterproof, mold proof, slip resistant, easy to clean. So even if you do track in the dirt and the grime, it's easy to clean up. There we go. Love this. Life is an adventure. Why not enjoy the ride? Better yet, why not enjoy the ride in your own RV? Don't worry about going to the hotels, who's been in the hotel room before us, or setting up the travel arrangements. Man, forget that noise. Get your RV so you can get out and see America the safest way possible. You're gonna have tons of storage options. You're gonna have plenty of room to take the stuff that you need to take with you. You're gonna have things like solid doors to separate the master from the living area, really giving you that privacy Got strut supported storage underneath, so plenty of room for your bags, maybe your hunting gear, your fishing gear. Got not only nightstand space with cubby space, you got dual USB charging over here on the port side, on the campsite. You got mirrored ward storage, side opening storage up above. I got a TV backer right here, so if I wanna mount my TV outside, I can. Uh, I mean, there's just so many options and so many features in RVs nowadays that you, know, you can drive yourself silly. And with 80,000 coming, uh, it's, it's easy to get lost. That's why we have specialists standing by who help find the one that's right for you. Sure, this 28 DBFQ starting at $25,995 or as low as $6.42 a day, that's a great deal. It sleeps nine, it's 32 feet long, it's 6,900 pounds dry. But if you say, Chris, I need something maybe a little bit smaller, that's where our specialists can walk you through that process of finding the one that's right for you and let them do it because it depends on what are you going to use to tow, how many people are you going to have sleeping in, in there, how many people do you need to accommodate, and where are you going to take it? Because you might not need aluminum sided. Maybe you want fiberglass. I mean, you got over 80,000 units to choose from. You can pick the one that's right for you. Just drop FRESH down below or text FRESH to 46642. Now, let's continue with this beautiful one right here. We got the solid step over steps. Look, sale price, $26,995 right here. I'm giving it to you during the Ultimate RV Show for $25,995. We're starting at $6.42 a day. Come on, man. I got my power connection out here, my double axle nitro filled tires. And this one has the Darko wrapped underbelly, which is an enclosed underbelly. For entry level RVs, you don't find that a lot. And having that really helps, especially when you're going down the road, the rocks and the debris flying up, you won't have those instances with the tanks. A little external storage space right here. If you wanna do some grilling, got your LP Quick Connect right there. Power awning with the LED light strip. There's my dual zone speakers I'd mentioned on the inside that are backlit. Love the way that looks. Power stabilizer jacks. Having that on entry level, another great option. 4x4 sewer hose storage here, spare tire mounted on the back. You got backup camera, solid ladder with the handles going over the top to give you that additional security when you get up there and do the RMP. Plus those arch ceilings and three inch nozzles really help keep the rain and the snow off the top of that RV and off of you and your friends and family who are gonna be spending time out here enjoying the RV experience with you. The way Pumas were made, the way they have been made since 1968, I mean, there's, there's no really surprise when Vern created them that he knew families were gonna come back. They, a lot of repeat customers with the Pumas. Um, and you can see why. The way that they're built, the price that they are, it's, it's really a good value. And for your chance to get out with your family and friends and see America the safest way possible, 
you kind of owe it to yourself. Uh, sure, you could say, eh, I don't need it. But with this sale that we have going on, I'm, I'm gonna use my wife's philosophy, what she told me just the other day. We're saving money by buying this because of the sale. I can't argue that. I'm not gonna argue that. Happy wife, happy life. So if your wife is saying she wants to get out and see America, they want to take the kids out, maybe just go, this is your chance. Drop us a comment down below, RV or text RV to 46642. This 28 DBFQ starting at $25,995 or as low as $6.42 a day. Now with over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, you want another Puma? Drop fresh down below or text fresh to 46642. It is the parade of Pumas and we got more coming as the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues. Thank you so much, Chris Young. I love the parade of Pumas. He showed us some amazing, amazing vehicles. And you know what we have coming up here in just a moment? We're going to look at the Keystone Bullet. We're going to look at the bad boy trailers that are the big ones that sleep a plus. Oh, they are impressive with the dinette and the lounge and the outdoor kitchens. And you know what he said? Uh, let's go back to what Chris said just a moment ago, his <laughs> wife's philosophy. I love that. My wife now knows the deals are so good in the retail store. Uh, every uh, state we visit now, she sends me a list of things that we need. And now I'm buying birthday presents for other people. It's insane. I love her. I like her style. I'm going to have to take some pro, pro tips from her. <laughs> We're saving money by buying this because it's on sale. I love that. And guys, if you see anything that you like or you dislike, text RV to 466. Four, two. All right, let's take a look at this Keystone Bullet. We're making them work today. 290-BHSWE. Chris, what do you got? Folks, this is a segment that I am super excited about because it's near and dear to my heart, and that is RVs where you can sleep a small army of people, right? Everything in here is going to be eight or more people. We have RVs that are eight, nine, ten uh, people that you can sleep in them, and just a ton of different sleeping spaces. Now, of course, we're going to have a bunch of bunks because when you're sleeping that many people, there's just no other way to do it. But this one right here is big, it's open, it's beautiful, it's fairly lightweight for the size. One of the things I really like about it, get the big super slide, double over, double bunks back there, huge bedroom. Folks, this is the 2021 Keystone Bullet 290 BHS. And right away, you can see how bright it is. And again, that ceiling height, right? I have a barreled ceiling, so it's nice and open in here, which I absolutely love. While we're up there, you can see two rows of LED lights. That's another big thing that helps keep it bright. Not just the bright woodwork, which I love, but also those lights are gonna help brighten things up. And in big windows, we'll see in a little bit. You also see the AC system right here with the quick dump. And this one does utilize the blade system. That is a new AC system from Keystone that not only helps distribute air better, and at higher volume, but also it is quieter than your standard AC. It's pretty impressive. That's like a 30 to 35% noise reduction, which is like the same as having a quiet, cool AC in here. And they were able to do all of that with the ductwork as well as the, uh, the vents themselves. So excellent new, uh, I guess, revelation, if you will, in the AC side for RVs. But not only is this one all about sleeping, but anytime you're going to have a lot of people in an RV, they have to eat, right? So you have to have storage, you have to have places to cook. So let's take a look at the kitchen, because as you can see here, there's no shortage of space. I mean, I have a ton of countertop space. I have good prep space right here. I have a nice big sink that, because we have upgraded countertops, allows me to undermount. So that way, if I have drying rack or a cutting board, something like that, I can put it right on here, no problem. And it's easy to clean. You know, I have a mess, great. Just sweep it right in there. I don't have that lip that gets dirty. High-rise pull-out faucet on here too. Check this out. You wanna plug something in? Boom, whoop, power tower, there it is. You have a couple electrical outlets, some USB ports on there as well. So if you have an, a uh, coffee maker, or whatever else, you can plug it in there, you're good to go. I like the backsplash for a couple different reasons. One, it's like a gray subway tile, which I'm always a sucker for, but B, the fact it goes all the way up to the top, right? You know, it just gives that kind of full and complete look all the way across. You'll see your three burner cooktop is also recessed with the glass cover, folds up and back just like so, as you'd expect. That front one is high output and you have the residential style grates. Boom, lights up. If you're into blue lights, that one's got it. If you don't like blue lights, well, just don't turn it on, you're good. Underneath that is an oven for a little bit of uh, bacon. Maybe it's a casserole, maybe you're baking uh, cupcakes, a cake, who knows? Three full extension ball bearing drawers. Again, I love the woodwork on here. 
it's kind of what I like to call grayish, right? It's like a grayish beige. Underneath, you have plenty of room for a trash can as well, and that's something that is, again, near and dear to my heart because I hate, if you see my videos, you know how much I talk about how I hate having to tie a trash bag to my pulls. It's just not what I want. The trash is out. It smells. It's gross looking. I want it put away. That gives me the ability to do it. Storage all across the top. Again, the big brush nickel pulls right there make it very easy to grab. You have your microwave and hood as well as the Dometic fridge freezer combo right there with plenty of space. This, of course, runs off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. Above the entertainment center, I like that they went with glass instead of just wood. I think, you know, it helps break that look up a little bit. You know, we have a lot of wood in the kitchen. Here we went with like a frosted uh, designed glass, which is pretty cool. Good storage up there as well, right? It's not just wasted space. TV right underneath, which is directly across from our seating, which is exactly where we want it. We'll take a look at the seating in just a moment. Multimedia center underneath here as well. That, of course, does have a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can pop it in and you are good to go. You will also see this right here. And this is pretty common, right? I mean, it's not like this is a super unique floor plan in, in its essence, right? You can get other ones that have a super slide with, you know, rear corner bath and bunks. But I like what Bullet has done. I mean, they've, they give you uh, the beautiful woodwork. You have a ton of storage all the way throughout here. You know, when we go outside, you'll see some great features out there as well. And here's the big kicker is weight. Folks, you're looking at a 33 foot, nine inch RV that dry is under 6,000 pounds. That's pretty darn impressive for the size of the RV, especially the ceiling height you're getting and having a super slide and still making that weight. You're also looking at a 43 gallon fresh tank, a 60 gallon gray tank and a 30 gallon black tank. So good size tanks on here. That gray one's nice and big, which is important. That's usually the one that fills up first. And for price point, Folks, this one is starting at $35,995 for the show, or as little as $8.62 a day. As my good friend Chris Young says, I'd like you to see, I'd like to see you get a hotel for that cheap, right? You're, you're not gonna find it. It's one of the great things about RVing. You know, it, more and more people are starting to get into RVing and they're starting to realize the benefit of A, not only spending time with uh, loved ones and being able to reconnect and have those connections and put electronics aside but also the fact that it's one of the least expensive family vacations you can take. You can take several of them a year for the same price it would cost you to go to one amusement park. You can get out you know, four, five, six weekends and be able to spend that time together and still not even scratch the surface of what that amusement park would cost you. Or you know, if you wanna fly somewhere, flights alone, People keep telling me that flights are cheap. I've looked at them, trust me, they are not cheap. And I would much rather travel in an RV than travel on a plane these days, any time of the week. Come on back into the bathroom here. So this is one of the cool things, but there's a couple different setups when we talk about rear bunks, right? And some of them, of course, will be a full bunk room. But if you have corner bunks like this one has, either the bunks are on the off camp side or they're on the camp side. This one, of course, they're on the off camp side because we have our bathroom here. And the big advantage of that is the fact you get a secondary entrance into the bathroom. Why do I love that? Well, quite simple. Why, yes, they've eliminated all carpet in this RV. I still don't want my kids coming in, or myself even, and bringing dirt all the way through here, right? Because then I have to clean it up because I'm not going to leave a dirty RV because nobody wants that. Uh, but with this, you can just come right in, take a seat, do your business, head right back out, and you're good to go, right? You're not bringing dirt all the way through. It's just this one little contained area, which I love. Another thing, this is, as I mentioned, a somewhat lighter RV, especially for the size, but they still put in high quality amenities like a porcelain bowl. I love that. I love that, you know, they, they're not sacrificing quality for weight. You get the mirrored medicine cabinet in here. You know, they could have just went with a, a piece of, or a, a mirror on the wall, right? But they actually give you the full medicine cabinet. Adds a little bit of weight, sure, but much more useful. Tub shower, I'll take a step in here. We talked about the high ceilings, folks. I'm six foot tall. Even in the very side, I can stand up and I'm barely, you know, grazing the ceiling with my hair because, well, I, I spike it up a little, right? Got it, got to show off. Sorry, Chris. You know, I know if you could, you would, but what are you going to do? No, just kidding. <laughs> um, over on the side, we have double over double bunks. Uh, Teddy Bear Bunk Series, nice and soft. Couple things that I love, and Passport and Bullet have always been really good with this. Um, it, if you're not familiar, right, they, they kind of started as a uh, like a sister company, uh, it, but they've kind of parted ways. They've started doing a lot of their own things, but something that both have always been very good at 
is having both electrical outlets and USB ports in their bunks. Uh, they were some of the first ones to do it that, that I've seen, and then a lot of other manufacturers were like, hey, that makes a lot of sense, because on a rainy day, now my kids can hang up out, uh, up here and play on a tablet. And again, I know we're trying to get away from electronics, but sometimes on a rainy day, it has to be done. So uh, you have that in both bunks, plus you'll see you have shelves, right? So if they need to be able to charge a cell phone, because here's the great thing. These have 300 pound weight capacity. So maybe it's, maybe you're not taking the kids. Maybe, you know, it's a, it's a fishing trip and you know, your buddies have need to have a place to sleep and they want to charge their cell phones. Well, now you have the ability to do it. That super slide is nice and big too, folks. Windows all the way across, lets in a ton of natural light. Right here is a tri-fold sofa. Fold this out, you can easily sleep. Two adults there, which is awesome. Cup holders in it. Take a look at this. I said they eliminated all the carpet because they went with a vinyl weave right there in the slide. It's super easy to clean. Over to this side is our dinette. The dinette itself, if you notice, the leg is way back here. It's a dream style dinette. Right here, I don't have any legs to deal with other than my own and whoever is sitting across from me. This drops down nice and easily into a bed. It's something we've seen for a bit in some motor homes, but we haven't seen it very often in the towable side. So I love that they are bringing it over. Make our way up front a little bit. This, is, this space right here going forward is a little unique. I love that they put this in here. You get adjustable shelving with a hanging rod. I personally would use this as kind of like a little mud room, right? Walk in, hang up my jackets, I'll put my shoes right there on the bottom. But if you want to use it for pantry, you can do that too. It's close enough to the kitchen. Then we, uh, you'll also see right here, by the way, I should mention that, another spot to hang up the jacket. So again, if you don't want to hang them there, you got that. You can use that for extra clothes, or again, just don't use the hanging rod at all. Coming up into the bedroom, you have double doors that close off for privacy. Right, so if you, you know, stay up a little bit later than the kiddos or whatever, you'll also see storage all the way around here, even in the back. This is pretty cool. You have these little hidden compartments there with USB ports down below. You have a laundry chute right here, so you can just put a laundry basket in your pass-through, throw your dirty clothes right down there. And of course, as you'd expect, there's also a spot to put a TV in here if you want a TV in the bedroom. Now, as we step outside, right, take a look at some of the features out here. Come up front with me a second. I always like to start up front, right? You'll see there is a power tongue jack, making it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Battery disconnect, so you can kill all power to the RV so you don't have that drain. Three quarter front cap just looks gorgeous, especially with the LED lights in there. And as we come around the side, take a look at how wide this pass-through storage is. You have this huge pass-through storage, nice wide door, so you can fit in some of the bigger chairs, grills, whatever else you want to stuff in there. That is a big space to fill and I love it. Making our way back a little bit further, the solid steps right there, and just as the name implies, they are very solid. Aluminum treads, big grab handle, making it easy to head inside. This is a big one, folks. Thermal package, 30,000 BTU furnace. There's some fifth wheels that don't even have a furnace that big. So you wanna talk about doing a good job of keeping things nice and toasty, that'll do it. Plus, you have an enclosed underbelly. That's, that forced air is in that underbelly, helping to prevent your lines and everything from freezing up on you. Right here, this is underneath the entertainment center. You have a cooktop as well as a fridge. You have your second entrance right there into the bathroom. TV hookup out here with the key TV. Folks, this is just one of several units we have that can sleep a small army. This is the Keystone Bullet 290 BHS, and it's starting at $8.62 a day. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Sean Parr with Zach and Mary, of course, from Country Outdoors. And guys, we're talking camouflage. And I'm going to be like a, a regular guy that just walks in because, honestly, when I walk into a camouflage section, I think camouflage is camouflage. But that's not the case, is it? No, not exactly. The camouflage patterns are pretty season-specific. The pattern itself, the goal is to blend in. So this wouldn't blend in very well in the snow outside right now. No, that's but right. 
in the fall woods, it would. Um, the apparel side is more about keeping you comfortable so that you're, you stay in the outdoors longer. And well, then, let's let's talk turkey vest for just a second. If I could grab this, and I know, Zach, you're really familiar with this particular vest. I mean, there's a lot going on here. Yes, yeah, so this is more for technical aspects. Turkey hunting, you're running around, it has your seat because you're sitting on the ground. It has all the pockets for your pot call, your mouth calls, your box call, all your essentials. That way you're, they're with you, you're comfortable, you're carrying them around. Yeah, you got a lot of snacks you can put in there also. This is like... That's what she does. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, vest really covers everything. Yeah, and what's great about Nomad is every year they engineer pretty much a new vest. So they're actually coming out with a brand new one this season as well, which is going to be even quicker to get off, more comfortable, has different pockets that, you know, they've asked the hunter what works, what doesn't work, and what should we have and what shouldn't we have. So always keep an eye out for what Nomad is bringing out with their turkey vest. Yeah, and that's what I love about uh, Camping World Gander RV and outdoor, uh, Outdoors is because you can actually do all of this. So it also goes seasonal too, because obviously this would work in the wintertime if you're in a deer stand, not in the summertime, or in Florida where you guys are going to do some turkey hunting soon. Right, but speaking of deer hunting, so right over here, this is pretty much the exact outfit that I wore this white tail season, sitting in a tree stand bow hunting. This is called Breakup Country. It blends in really well. It's got great pockets for all, you know, your phone, your binos and everything, but it's really good for blocking the wind and it's really warm. So I would like highly recommend this for mid to late season deer hunting. And one of the things I also want to talk about, and uh, Zach, you and I, as we were walking through here, we're talking about safety as well for turkey hunting, also for deer hunting. There's a difference in these caps. Yes. So I would wear this one turkey hunting every day. I would never wear this one turkey hunting because the turkeys would see it. Obviously. Now, rifle hunting deer, most states require you to wear blaze orange, and it's for safety. Same thing as the turkey vest doesn't have orange on it, but an upland vest does. And so other hunters know where you're at and keeps you safe. Yeah, and there's all kinds of gear. So everything that you need at a Camping World Gander RV and Outdoor, it's all here. You need the heavy stuff for the winter time or sitting in that deer stand early in the morning, or you need the light stuff, you know, something a little bit lighter. And I know you guys are really excited about heading down where the sun shines and the spring smells of Florida so you can get those Tom turkeys and, and really get them on the barbie and get them going oh yeah it's our favorite time of year isn't it absolutely all right, and there no. it's all about staying cool yeah. uh, when you talk about country outdoors what about like like deer hunting what specifically are you looking for if i'm deer hunting mm -hmm. it depends on the season early season you're most of the time you're sitting in a deer stand or we are for deer mm -hmm. and it, early season i just want to be comfortable yeah. but late season as it starts getting cold something like this if you're sitting in a tree you're going to be warm now i wouldn't wear that to hike up a mountain yeah, because once you start hiking, of course, the body temperature takes over and you're getting really, really warm. And I, I think uh, comfort and, you know, when you're warm or cold, you don't want to be cold. When, once you get in those, you know, temperatures and where things start to get cold, then you're done. You have to layer appropriately for those kind of hunts. Yeah. So you'll start with your base layers, then add things like this instead of just going heavy jacket. And the best news of all is, if you have any questions, you come into a uh, camping world, a Gander RV and Outdoor, and you ask because our professionals are here to answer all your questions, or you just check in with you two at Country Outdoors. <laughs> Zach and Mary, I'll be more than happy to take care of you. Sean Parr with my good friends from Country Outdoors, Zach and Mary, and this is what it's all about. We're talking camouflage, and we are on the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, and it continues next. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With plans as low as $5.50 a month, you can't afford to get stuck without it. Next up on our list is a very similar floor plan to what we just saw. We had the bullet, and what did we have? Well, a rear corner bathroom, rear corner bunks, super slide. But you'll definitely see there's some differences here. We have a standard dinette instead of a U dinette. We go to a jackknife sofa instead of a trifold sofa. Uh, our dry weights were at 6,053, sleeping eight. But let's take a look at the price point. Folks, this one is starting at 26,995, which is only $6.67 a day. 
So that's the great thing about RVs, right? There's a lot of different options, not just in floor plans, layouts, aesthetics. You see this one has a little bit darker wood, but another big one is price point and budget. We wanna make sure we're gonna find something for you that is gonna fit for your needs, but also make sure it's fitting into that budget. And this is a great one for it. And folks, here's a, here's a really cool thing. With this show, all you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642, and that will give you access to the over 100,000 RVs we have on the lot and coming into stock and that way we'll make sure that we get you the perfect RV. Whether it's sleeping two people, eight people, 10 people, we have them all. Let's start off on the kitchen. As I always say, I love the kitchen. I do a lot of cooking myself when I camp, so I wanna make sure I have enough space. And this right here will absolutely work for me. Pretty similar to what we had in the bullet, right? We got some space back here. You can see electrical outlet, USB ports, you know, nice upgraded countertop, which allows for an undermount sink. The cool thing about this one, take a look at that. We got an apron front right kind of bringing in a little bit of farmhouse there you know you can see a couple pops here and there of that we'll see some kind of shiplap looking uh wallboard in a little bit as well you have the high rise faucet uh, as far as underneath have enough room for a trash can you know that's a big one for me and right there this one is definitely making the mark three full extension ball bearing drawers there right we got to make sure we have enough space for not just our flatware but some of the bigger items and look at this look how deep these drawers are i love that because sometimes i take a little bit larger items like i'll take an apple core but you know the stinking thing sits up this high i'll take an immersion blender like a hand blender and you know a lot of times in these little ones it won't fit but when it's nice and deep like that I have no issues. Uh, also on this countertop, I have good prep space right here, right where I want it. And take a look at the size of that window. You get a huge window out to your campsite, which I love. Lots of ton of natural light in here. And they still gave you a backsplash. A lot of manufacturers uh, are going to this, you know, this long window here in the kitchen, but they eliminate the backsplash in its place. And I, I like the fact that they still give you both. Three burner recessed cooktop with the glass cover. Uh, this is a graystone unit, but kind of like the Furion, that does light up. Oven will be right there underneath. As you would expect, you have storage across the top. Frosted glass in this one, helping to break up the wood look. You know, a little bit darker wood than what we saw in the bullet, but that's okay. Maybe you don't like the white. Maybe you want something a little more traditional like we have right here. LED lights underneath there, microwave, slimline hood, nor cold fridge freezer unit here. Open that guy up. This one does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switchover. Coming in a little bit further, similar to what we had in the bullet, but a little bit different, right? So you get nice big pantry space here if you want to use it as pantry, or you can use it for clothes for people that are in the bunks. You have options right there. Also, right in the back corner, as I mentioned, this is the bathroom. And what's the advantage of having the bathroom on this side and the bunks on that side? Well, you got it. There's a door right there. So I can come in, sit right here, do my business, head right back out, sink over to this side, mirrored medicine cabinet. Right here is a tub shower. Now, if I step in here, I'm six foot tall. You can see right there, I can actually stand all the way up at six foot. Even with my hair spiked up a little, you know, it probably adds an inch now. If I had Sean Parr hair, you know, my man, he's got, he's got some lift on that. He might be rubbing, but for me, I can hit that. No issues whatsoever. I can fit in there. We are good. Right over to the side is our Teddy Bear Bunk Series Bunks, double over double bunks, USB port there, built-in ladder. This is one of them that people often overlook because it seems like such a minor thing, but I personally really like it. Um, from the standpoint that it's always my, my youngest daughter, not my youngest, my middle daughter, I should say. My youngest is one, she's not climbing anything. Well, other than things she shouldn't, but my, uh, my five-year-old, she always wants to sleep on the top bunk. This lets her do it right here. She can climb on up, jump in, good to go, you know, because she isn't able to uh, jump in from the bottom bunk. So I do like that that's there. 300 pound weight capacity on here too, folks. If you want to sleep two kids to a bunk, you can. You know, if you want to have an adult trip, they can sleep in here, but that's part of the big reason this one can sleep up to eight. Standard dinette instead of a U dinette. So I want to talk to you guys about that a second because there's generally a misconception about U-shaped dinettes. A lot of people feel that with a U-shaped dinette, you can sit more people around it. And I'm here to tell you that more often than not, that is not the case. Whether it's a standard dinette or U dinette, four people is usually what you're going to sit. The big difference in the U-shaped dinette is it makes a bigger bed. So if that's important to you, if you want a bigger sleeping space, then you'll want a U dinette because this just isn't going to be as long and it's harder for an adult to sleep when this one's dropped down as a bed. If that doesn't matter to you, 
then it doesn't matter which dinette you get. And the reason why is because even though you have a lot of space for seating, it's your knees, right? In a U-shaped dinette, everyone's knees are gonna start hitting if you get more than four people in there. So just keep that in mind, you know, because I have a lot of people that when they talk in bunks, like I have to have a U-shaped dinette so everyone can sit around it. Well, you know, like I said, it doesn't matter which one you're getting, you're gonna be sitting four people at it. Right next to that is a jackknife sofa. The thing I like about this, drops down into a bed. It is a little bit longer. You know, I'll drop this one down just like here. And again, you know, it's six foot tall. <clears throat> Not bad. You know, I'd have to curl up a little bit with a pillow, but realistically, you know, I could sleep here. It, it, it wouldn't be terrible. I could definitely do it. Now, when I lift this up, one of the other great things about a jackknife, well, really the main great thing, is all the storage you get underneath. And one of the things I like about the Coleman, boom, easy access to that storage. I can drop that down. I can reach right in there or I can lift it up. I have options, magnetic catch, so it just flips right back up there nice and easily. Now here's gonna be a pretty big differentiation from what we saw in the bullet, right? The bullet had kind of uh, some walls on the side and the middle was open. This one does the exact opposite. You right in the middle is an entertainment center, but then these sides are open. Cool thing about this is it allows for a big uh, TV space right here, right? So you can put your TV there, you have the entertainment center, fireplace, little spot to kick off your shoes right down underneath, and it gives you access to both sides of the bed. Come on up here, let me show you. So when we come into the bedroom, what you'll notice is that right here, the bed comes all the way to the bottom. So you can't get around that way. So you need two entries so you can get to either side of the bed. The doors slide shut nice and easily, no issues there. Windows on both sides, this one's a nice big tall window, lets in a lot of light. We take a look up front here. The shiplap wallboard, right? We talked about that. You saw it on the, the wall, the TV goes on. You'll also see it right up front, great looking. You have nightstands with actual uh, shelves there, actual nightstands, right? It's not just paneling. You have an actual nightstand that you can set like a CPAP machine on or you know, just cell phone, tablet, whatever. You get drawer space. That's something that's not very common by the bedside. I personally like it. I have items that I like to put in, uh, you know, in my nightstand at the bedside, like chapstick, things like that. Um, so I certainly like having that little extra space just to put a lot of those little items. You'll also see mirrored wardrobe with hanging rods in there, shelf going across the top, some lights. And then on the other side is hook up for a TV if you want a TV in the bedroom. Now as we take a step outside here, let's head on up front. And wouldn't you know, power tongue jack folks, right there it is. Again, super simple and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle, just like that. I'm lifting her up just like that, I'm dropping it down. Now, not only does that help to not wear out your arm, but also if you have a weight distribution hitch, which I do highly recommend uh, for a couple reasons. One, it helps distribute the weight better. Two, because you can get a sway control on it so your travel trailer is not swaying as you're pulling it down the road. But with a lot of those systems, you have to lift it up, drop it back down, and it takes just a lot of manual labor if you're sitting there cranking it. But this makes it so much easier. Also, you have a light at night, not something, not anything super bright, right? It's not gonna light up everything out here, but it's enough that you get some added visibility so you can make sure that your ball and everything is locked in. You'll also see your propane uh, tanks right there. You have uh, the rails for your battery, spot right there, diamond dutch plating coming up the front, protecting that front end. This is a big one, solar power. It's becoming uh, more and more important as more people are getting out camping. If you want solar, folks, this is perfect. All I have to do is buy portable panels. The controllers are built right in. You plug it in right there. Everything's pre-wired, and it will trickle charge your battery. Take a look at the pass-through there. Nice, big, open pass-through. Power awning with LED light strip. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. Lights are great. You know, if, if you want party lights, that's awesome. We sell all sorts of them. We have like flamingos, we have pineapples. There's all sorts of great fun party lights that you could hang up there. But if you don't want to, that's great. You have LED lights built in, simple and easy to use. You also see some outside speakers. Those are connected to the multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. So you can sit right out here, use your phone, you know, get on Spotify, be able to control the music. Power stabilizer jacks. You know, hey, we're trying to make life simple. You have a power tongue jack, power awning, power stabilizer jacks, trying to take all the manual labor out of it so you can just flip a couple rocker switches, you're good to go. 
Uh, the solid steps from LCI are fantastic, just like the name implies, they are very solid. I'm currently weighing in about 210 or so, and I can just you know run up and down these no problem. There's no flex in the steps. Aluminum treads, so they don't rust. Also, you will see adjustable feet, so you can adjust it to your campsite. Making right back a little bit further, right there's your electric outlet. Couple things right here that I wanna point out. One, this particular unit has an outside shower on the camp side. That's, that doesn't happen very often. Usually it's on the off camp side, sometimes on the back. This is great, especially right by an entry, because let's say, you know, you go out to the beach for the day, you come back, the kids' feet are all sandy, great, take this shower, you can hose their feet off, it has hot and cold water, so it's not super cold, right? Turn on the hot water a little bit, hose their feet off, and you can head right back in, or head inside with clean feet. Also, there's a black tank flush, which is very convenient, so you don't have to stick a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank. You hook it up right there and you're done camping, sprayers are built in, it washes everything out for you. Folks, hopefully this just kind of helps to show, even though these are two very similar floor plans between the Bullet and the Lantern that we just saw, you can see there are definitely a lot of differences as well. The great thing is, that's what we're here for at Camping World. Lean on us, let us help you. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642, and that will make sure that we know that you're looking for one of these factory fresh units, you want some help, and we're here to help you to make sure you can see the beautiful country of ours the safest way possible with your family and friends in tow. Heartland has RVs to help everyone launch their life's journeys. All new designs and floor plans provide choices for every type of camper. Whether you're a solo RVer, a family, a retiree, or something in between, come find your perfect model. Because buying a Heartland should feel like you're joining our family. So let's hit the road and enjoy life's great adventures together. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young here with my friends from Country Outdoors. Zach and Mary, what's hey, happening? Oh, oh. having a blast. My Another boy Ian. Them. Ian Baker is the best in the business, hands down, man. I mean, I, I love working with this guy. He knows everything. He is the ultimate RV pitch man. And what's great about ultimate, ultimate RV show national tour, ultimate pitch man, ultimate deals, ultimate giveaways too, right? Yeah, there's still a lot of great stuff to give away. If you want to get entered, text URVS to 46642 or write it in the comments below. And I've got a couple of merchandise certificates to That's give away. Right. $50 merchandise certificates. Ooh. Who's right. going to get them? Are you Who's ready? Gonna... Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. First one goes to Faye Walker. Faye, Faye, oh, Faye Walker? Yeah. Like old, the first lady to get a uh, machine washer in Johnson City, Faye Walker? Like uh, Dolly Parton, Steel Magnolia's big hair, yes. Faye Walker. Yes, North Dallas from the 80s. That's Faye, Faye you go, girl. Yes, Faye. Congratulations, Congratulations on your gift Next card, baby. Up, Jane Neely. Oh. Jane. And finally, you ready for it? I'm ready. Who is it? Ricky Bobby Rick Thompson. Hey, Mr. Hey, Mrs. Thompson's boy. Congratulations <laughs> to all of our winners of those $50 merchandise gift certificates. Woo. During the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, over $250,000 in giveaways will be taking place. We're going to get back to some of those big eight-plus sleeping RVs with my boy Ian Baker. He's got a Jayco Eagle he's going to tell us about right now. Take it away, big dog. Welcome to the Jayco Eagle HT284BHOK. This is an awesome unit. It can sleep 10 people. Remember, we're in RVs that can sleep eight plus people. So you have a big family, you just want the ability to sleep a lot of people. That's what these RVs are all about. And this one is no exception. It is an amazing layout. A big part of it, of course, is the double over double bunks we have right here in the back. And something I really love about the Eagle line Look at the thickness of that mattress. And we look at a lot of bunks, you know, they're not gonna be near that thick. It's Teddy Bear Bunk Series, it's twice as thick as a lot of the other ones we'll find. Uh, plenty of capacity here, looking at 300 pound weight capacity. And something else that I like about these bunks, a lot of times in, you know, corner bunk models, it's cut back right here, right? In, in order to make a little bit more room. And the issue with that is if you have two people in there, someone is gonna, you know, their feet may be hanging off. Here with this, it doesn't matter what side of the bed you're on, or if you have two people up there, it is a full length bed no matter where you're at, and I absolutely love that. You also see storage up top, you have the big built-in ladder right here, LED lights uh, right in the back. I'll show you this when we go outside, but you can see there's actually a door back there as well. So that is a great extra storage. Now, the way that works is this will fold just like so, 
can lock that up right there and you can take a look at all of that amazing space you get, folks. And this is one of the reasons I love this floor plan so much. I mean, you can put bikes in here, you know, kayaks, right? If you have a kayak, now it might cut this door off, but there's another entrance we'll see in a little bit. So, you know, you can have some of those bigger items right in here. It just makes an awesome spot for storage. And then as obviously once you get to your destination, you'll just flip this right back over. The other cool thing is, you know, you still have space down there. So when you are camping, you're all set up. It's a great spot to put like a dirty laundry basket for the kids. You can just throw all their dirty laundry right into there. You have a little bit more storage here as well as over to this side. And take a look at this. As soon as you walk in right there, you get yourself a little mud closet, right? So boom, there it is. You have a spot to hang up your jackets. You want to throw some shoes in there. You can do that too. And then when you come back into the main living area, you see your entertainment center. And we have two-toned wood in here, right? We have a little bit darker, a little bit lighter. I think it looks really nice. We're starting to see more and more manufacturers do this. Uh, Jayco is definitely one that's very well known for it. If you want it even lighter yet, you can get the cottage white interior, which, you know, everything you see right now will be, uh, you know, that, that cottage white, kind of that off-white, the farmhouse style. So if that's something you want, it is definitely an option you can get in this one. Great storage all the way around that TV right in the center, directly across from our tri-fold sofa, which we'll see in a little bit. Great multimedia center with the DVD player built in. Fireplace underneath. Not only does that look nice, but that, of course, will also be a, uh, an electric space heater, which is phenomenal. Now, you get all this space right here because, of course, we have the super slide, right? It really opens this space up, which is great because if you, you know, are walking by each other, you have a dog, there's plenty of room for not just people, but also animals in here. So, you know, if you, if you want to bring the family pet with you, again, more than enough space. Fridge will be located there. Fridge freezer combo. Nice big countertop. You have an L-shaped kitchen in this one. The upgraded countertops, too, which allow you to undermount the sink. And when you do that, you can get what we have here. You kind of get the flush prep space, which I love. So you have a cutting board on one side, a drying rack on another, high-rise pull-out faucet, perfect spot for our electrical outlet because you have a spot for a coffee maker right there. You still have dedicated prep space and a recessed three-burner cooktop with the glass cover, front one there being high output. Not only do you have a big oven on this one, but you'll also see underneath you get storage space. So if you want... Um, excuse me, you know, a spot for pots and pans, that's the perfect spot for it. You'll also see over to the side, you have enough room for a trash can, which I love, and huge drawers. Three full extension ball bearing drawers running all the way down there, plenty of space. USB ports, little spot for spices, or again, if you just wanna charge a cell phone, toss it down there, you can. Storage all across the top here, as well as our microwave and the slim line hood. Uh, it's also worth mentioning, you do have an electrical outlet here, but also the, uh, the Furion uh, Bluetooth speaker system. So if you want that Bluetooth speaker, you can plug in right there and you can rock out to some music. Cool thing about that one is you can take it outside and uh, you know if you want to put it on a picnic table or whatever, you're able to do so. Big U-shaped dinette. This is a big part of the reason this one is able to sleep so many people. Um, I love a U-shaped dinette. You know, it's plenty of room for four people to comfortably sit. Great to play games on. You can drop this table down to get a, uh, that sleeping space. You can see an electric outlet underneath there if you need to do any kind of work. And easy access to storage. And check this out. This is something else that I really like. And I know that this bin wasn't expensive, right? It's plastic. It's not like it's anything super impressive. But the reason I love this is because now you don't have to try to measure it and try to find something that fits in there. They already gave it, they already gave it to you. Because the issue normally when you have this space is while, yes, you can still access underneath the U dinette when people are sitting on it. To get to anything, you kind of have to get down on your hands and knees and try to reach in there. But with this, you don't have to do that just makes life so much simpler so I love that they put those in there another thing you'll notice is this right here you have vinyl in the slide out so it's seamless you know you can't tell that um, you know that well I mean you can if you look really closely but it's hard to tell that there this is a different flooring so I love that they did that especially at a quick glance everything just seems like it's one big floor just flows so stinking well you also get the eagle Whoa, call! What, what sound does an eagle make I don't know freedom but you have the, the eagle there light behind that you see the uh, storage across the top and then underneath is that tri-fold sofa 
This also gives you sleeping capability for tubes. This folds out, makes a great bed for any guests that you have. Uh, right in the back here, open this up, show you the bathroom before we head up into the bedroom because there's definitely some things I love in here. Let's turn, uh, turn some of those on. So as we make our way in, uh, a couple different things. One, you get a linen closet right there, you know, so space for towels, whatever else you need. As for the toilet, porcelain bowl, easy to clean, a ton of room. I mean, not just for, you know, uh, using the bathroom, but it all. I mean, look at all this space I have. I have a ton of room in here to get dressed if I have to. You have your toilet paper holder there. This countertop extends all the way down so you get all that extra space. Storage underneath too, and a real tile backsplash. I love that they use real tile there. Electric outlet, you have the backlit mirror, which is really cool, and this is a medicine cabinet as well. So you have storage in there, but I love that it's backlit. It just really helps make it pop. And then when we talk about the shower, a couple things here as well. One of them, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a light in here. So, you know, the skylight definitely provides a lot of light during the day and it also provides height. I mean, I'm six foot, I could be six five and still stand in here without having to duck down. But I like this extra light because it provides just a little bit at night. So you, if you're showering at night, you're still able to see. Again, during the day you have this, and then you also have this window right here, right? So it definitely brings a lot of light in during the day. And the reason I like this is, you know, at, at least from what my wife tells me is being right here doing makeup because the RV lighting is gonna be a lot different than outside lighting. And so when you're doing makeup, you know, it's good to have that natural light so you know what you're gonna look like when you leave the RV. Taking a step out, let's swing it around. We'll walk up to the, uh, the bedroom here. Also, it's, it's worth mentioning the, the light fixtures. That's real glass, folks. You know, you wanna talk about nice amenities. I mean, this Eagle HT, this is a beautiful high-end travel trailer. And one of the things I love about this is the dry weight on here is 8,035 pounds. So, you know, it's kind of right at that edge of being able to tow with a half ton. Technically, you probably could with some half tons because I know they have like 10,000 pound tow rating. Um, you know, I might want to move up into a three quarter ton, but I know that the Jayco Eagle HT line is meant to be towed by half ton trucks. This one also has huge tanks on it, which, you know, if you're walking or you're carrying around all that water, again, may move you up into a bigger truck. But this one, you're looking at 75 gallon fresh tank, 65 gallon gray tank, and 32 gallon black tank. So nice big tanks on here. If you're going somewhere, you know, maybe uh, going where you don't have water hookup, don't have sewer hookup, you'll be A-OK -okay in this unit. So we make our way up into the bedroom. Got a door that closes off for privacy, right? Because again, you have kids back there, you might have additional guests, you want your own space. You come up here, you will see the queen bed. I love the bedding, right? It's uh, you know, a lot of times RV bedding, I'm not a huge fan of, but I think this actually looks nice. Both sides, you have nightstands with uh, appropriate outlets, wardrobes on the side, storage across the top. Second AC in here, which is a big deal, keeps you nice and cool. If you want a TV, this is in the bedroom. This is where it mounts. Proper connections right up top. And then you will also see more storage here. Plus all the way down, you have a couple of drawers. And as you can see right behind me is a second entry. So that way you're able to come out just like this, right? And you know, you have someone else sleeping back there. You don't have to disturb them. Having that second entry is fantastic. Let's take a look at the front because there is some things that I wanna show you on here that really help set this one apart. So if we take a look, you'll see a power tongue jack, right? So that way it makes it nice and easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. You have your propane tanks and cover. Look at this storage rack, how awesome is that? Not only can you put you know, wood or coolers, whatever else there, maybe you have a generator, right? You wanna put a generator there? Hey, you can toss one in there. Now, I wouldn't run it there, but you know, for carrying purposes, for traveling purposes, it's a great spot. One of my favorite things about this though is the fact that this is a true full front cap. And what I mean by that is that this painted cap actually wraps around to the side. So that way, you know, most of the time your seam is right here and as you're going down the road, that's where that water's coming, but this actually wraps around, really protecting that front end. Plus it just looks really nice, it looks complete, adds a little bit of insulation value in that bedroom as well. And then take a look at the size of this pass-through, folks. You have a massive pass-through right here. And the reason is because they utilize, <laughs> hi Jace, they utilize drop frame construction. And what that is, 
is this I-beam right here. Uh, you know, they, they'll have your main I-beam running through, and then they weld another one right down underneath that. So you gain all of this space. Normally, it would end right here, and that's what your pass-through would be, which is pretty common, but you get all that extra space in there. You'll also see the battery disconnect so you can quickly kill the battery. I mean, just a ton of great features outside. You know, you have the big power awning, LED lights, making our way back, Goodyear tires on there, a spot for a TV out here. Right in the back is an outside kitchen with a grill, a bottle opener, a fridge. You have a spot to put that Bluetooth Furion speaker if you choose to get it, folks. I'm telling you, this one right here is absolutely awesome. You can pick it up starting at $44,995 for the show. It's as low as $10.77 a day. It's all about deer hunting in this segment right here, Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young with my buddy Zach and uh, Mary from Country Outdoors. I don't know where Mary is, but I guess She's we're going to find her. But man, you guys with the Country Outdoors, the Country Outdoor Adventures, you know so much about deer hunting. I want to pick your brain a little bit because a lot of people don't know that at Gander Camping World, we have everything you need to really up that experience. So let's just talk real quick about some of the things people can get here about to up that game for yeah, deer Yeah, I mean, let's start right here. Yeah. I mean, we have over there, you have your sink and Control in your food plots, but here, this is amazing how far this has come, and we got a rack full of them. These trail cameras, you know, yeah. 10, 15 years ago, you were getting film developed. Now yeah. it's sending pictures straight to your cell phone. And they have solar panels. I mean, there's so many options for those. Uh, for security too, a lot of people are getting these for their homes for security. Absolutely. But trail cams, you can get everything you need. Again, to RV and outdoors. Yeah. These are some of my favorites: blinds and huts, man. Yeah, this one's nice. This one's in Moss. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes with an Australian. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now, Mary, you obviously probably have some favorites for these as well. Is this one of your favorites right here? Yeah, these are really nice because they're just comfortable. There's a lot of space in them. And for me, I like to be able to sit down, put my coffee down, put my bow down and not be super squishy. So I love a, pop a good pop-up blind. They've got lots of different windows so you can move it around if your wind isn't good or if you need to just put it in against some trees or whatever. So yeah, these ones are absolutely great. Well, and they're easy to set up, they're lightweight. Yes. And like Zach mentioned at the beginning, if you need to block scent or get an ionizer, you can put that in there, yeah. you know, make sure nobody's gonna catch you coming. And for me as a female, I could take this and go and throw it up myself and not have any complications. So that's a plus. That's yeah. a beautiful yes. plus. And now this, you is, this is one of my favorites. We have all the accessories here for in the tree stand, hanging equipment. We have limb saws for when you're hanging a stand. But to me, this is the most important. How many of us here have fallen out of a tree? <laughs> yeah, I fell out of a tree. So this is a safety harness. This is a tree rope. So from the time that your feet leave the ground to all the time you're sitting in the tree, you're strapped in and safe. Yeah. And here we got a lot of different options. So. And the best part about these monies, uh, they do not take a lot of time to set up. I mean, it's, they're easy, they're lightweight. You think, I'm not gonna spend that extra time. It's really not a lot of extra time. We got blinds, we got tents, we got safety, we got scents, we got everything you need to make sure that that Deer hunting experience is the best that it can be. Not to mention, we have pros on staff that can help pick this stuff out. So you're looking for stands, you're looking for blinds, you're looking for seats, you're looking for gear. You wanna make that deer hunting experience as good as Zach and Mary do when they go out deer hunting? Cause you know, I, I don't think I've got anything in the last 20 years. You probably got one this We're gonna week. have to take you out then, Chris. You need to show me yeah, how to do it better. I'm yeah. just not good at it. <laughs> no, that's not true. You just haven't been hunting with the right people. Right, and, <laughs> I, and I know we can have some fun while we're out there yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Have yeah. fun, be safe, get all the gear you need at your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World today. So this floor plan may start to seem a little familiar. We have a super slide with a dinette and a sofa we have a campsite bathroom and rear corner bunks. But once again, I just wanna really show you guys how different the same floor plan can be. It's the same general setup, 
But you know, again, we have a little bit different woodwork. We have some different amenities on here, some different packages on this Cougar that you are going to love. I'm super excited about it. Folks, this is the 2021 Keystone Cougar 29 BHS. And again, similar floor plan to what we had in the Bullet, what we had in the Coleman, right? A couple of those different floor plans. But as we go through, you will see some of the different amenities. Uh, this one comes in at just over 34 foot. Your dry weight is 6,875 pounds. And might as well talk about price, right? Because, hey, at the end of the day, it's what we need to know. So no problem. This one is starting at 36,995, which is as little as $8.86 a day. And for what you get, I'm telling you, like I say, my, Chris, my boy Chris Young, what he always says, you will not find a hotel for less than $9 a day, I promise you that, but this bad boy right here, you will. And as you take a look, you know, again, we start in the kitchen. There it is, you have a spot for a coffee maker right over here, you have some space right over to this side for a little bit of prep, upgraded countertops, undermount stainless steel bowl, high rise pull down faucet. Over to the side, recessed three burner cooktop with a glass cover. You know, fold that up and back. That front one's high output. This is a Furion model, so the knobs light up and you have a good size oven underneath. Now what you'll notice with this woodwork is this is, you know, a nice that nice cottage white we talked about. Kind of like the, the Jayco unit has available. A lot of them are starting to go to it. It's a little more farmhouse-esque. That was a big thing in the residential industry. They brought it into the RV industry and I absolutely love it. It just makes it, uh, it's just gorgeous. It's very pretty. When we open that up, you see storage right there. Of course, LED lights underneath. Window in the kitchen there as well to let a natural light give you that view out to the campsite. Take a look up at the ceiling. We have two rows of LED lights you have the AC right there with a quick dump and kind of like we saw in the bullet this one has that keystone blade system so you know that not only is this going to cool down nice and quickly but also that it's going to be quieter so you don't have to yell at each other uh, you know over the AC or turn the TV way up where it's blasting your eardrums to hear it over that AC unit. Now as we move over a little bit we get into the nor cold unit I'll open this guy up so you can take a look plenty of uh, cold storage space right in there. Cool thing about this one, folks, this is a 12 volt refrigerator. So this one is just gonna run off the batteries. Now, what I always tell people when we talk about 12 volt fridges is you know, a lot of times you're gonna want two batteries and solar. Neat thing about this one is it has the Cougar OTG package. It is an option from Cougar. Uh, we have it on here and the OTG stands for off the grid. It's a great solar system. When we take a look, you'll see that it has the controller built in. We have 170 watts of solar up on the roof and you can add more. If you want more solar, you can do it. So uh, it's kind of an open system. The other cool thing about it, it comes with an inverter. This one has a 2000 watt inverter on it and that will make sure that you have 120 here in the living space in the kitchen and in the bedroom. So even if you are out in the middle of nowhere with that inverter and with that solar, you still have 120 volts in several different outlets throughout this camper, which is awesome. It's a really cool system. Uh, I love that Cougar has come out with it. And I love that they put it on this particular unit. You also see right here, 50 inch TV, 4K TV in here. This is one of the few manufacturers that's putting in upgraded TVs. Uh, if you want a Blu-ray player, you can have a Blu-ray player, hook it up into an HDMI, you're good to go. It doesn't come with a Blu-ray, but it does come with a DVD player, so you can at least watch some movies in here. You're not completely stranded there. Uh, you'll see that you have storage on the side as well as storage all across the top, kind of with the decorative glass instead of the wood. And again, you'll see that it's two-tone. It's something that we've been seeing a lot of uh, in the, the 2021 model year, and, and I think it's great. I love that manufacturers are bringing in a lot of brighter colors, but still kind of offsetting it with a little bit of dark, you know, so it doesn't get washed out. Fireplace right down underneath, and you know, I've had people tell me before, Ian, a fireplace is overkill, but here's the thing, folks. Not only does that look really cool, but more importantly, at least for me, is the fact that that is a space heater. So if you're plugged in, you got shore power, you're running a generator, that right there is gonna do a good job of just kind of taking the chill off right here in this main space, maybe a little bit for the kids in the back. And we will check out the bunks in just a moment, but first, I wanna hit the bathroom. So you'll see, you know, once again, we have the campsite bath. Now, 
it's a little bit different setup than what we saw before. You'll see you have a bigger countertop in here. So if that's something that's important to you, you know, maybe the Cougar is what you're looking for. We have several different lines that we've reviewed, and again, all of them are, are slightly different. And this is one of those changes. You get bigger countertops. It's still upgraded countertop with the undermount bowl. Electric outlet, you'll see up top is your mirrored medicine cabinet storage underneath. As far as the toilet goes, I have plenty of leg room, great shoulder space, porcelain bowl on here. Now, if you're taking a look at this door, you can see that I can very clearly see through here. And I don't want anyone coming up in the stairs and just looking at me in the eyes, I'm doing my business. But this one does have a shade, so you can close that down, you're all good. Also folks, there's a deadbolt on here. And I always tell people, because some people are really weirded out by the fact there's a door into the bathroom, just lock the deadbolt, you're good. No one's coming in. They'll go to pull on it, it's not gonna open, you're, you're all set. Now when you're done, open it back up, head back out, but that will make it so you're not bringing dirt throughout the entire RV. Just come in, do your business, and head right back out. How about the tub shower? Let's do the check. Here we go, we stand in it. I like the surround, it's a little more decorative. As far as height, boom, I have more than enough. Got the skylight right there again. I can be, you know, 6'2", like my man Chris Young, and I have no problems standing in here. You also get a towel bar, so it's nice and easy to grab your, uh, your towel when you're done showering, right? You don't have to try to fish for it. You have a dedicated spot right there for it. Vent fan, as you would expect, you know, to get moisture out of here. Again, if you're doing your business, you wanna make sure it gets out of there in a hurry, and that will certainly help you. In the back is our double over double bunks, teddy bear bunk series, kind of like we've seen in some of the other models. You'll notice there's an electrical outlet right up top. If we take a look down below, again, an electrical outlet, but take a look at the size of that door, folks. You want to talk about huge storage and big access. This whole bunk lifts up. You'll, you'll want to move this up top, but this will go all the way up and lock into place, and you have all this room right here. That is a massive door. You can fit some really big items back here. You also, if you're able to see that, Fritz, if you're able to put the camera down there so people can see, you have storage underneath the bed further back in, too. So they really utilized all of this storage space. I absolutely love it. Aluminum framed on here, which I like, too. You know, it's a, it's a laminated unit. You know, our exterior walls, so they have, you know, higher end components. They have aluminum on hand. They utilized it on that bed frame to make sure you're getting maximum strength out of it. So we take a look at the slide. Another thing Cougar does very well is their windows. They call them panoramic windows. And you can see that basically this entire slide box, I mean, both side walls, huge windows side to side. You take a look at that whole side right there, it is all window. I mean, it lets in a ton of natural light, gives you great views. Those can all open up for great ventilation through here. And look, where most manufacturers will put in one LED light, sometimes two, they have three over the sofa and three over the dinette, so that way it is nice and bright. I hate, hate, hate being in a dark RV. You know, it just, especially because it's a smaller space, if you have dark, you know, dark wood and it's not good lighting, it makes me feel, I don't know, just depressed almost at times. But when you have nice bright wood like this, you have plenty of LED lights, big windows, it really brightens the space up. Tri-fold sofa, that folds out into a bed. Dinette here, that of course drops down into a bed. You have the nylon weaved floor so that it cleans up super easy. No more carpet in here. Uh, making our way up a little bit further, you got an electrical outlet there. Opening this guy up, take a look at that. Huge pantry. If you look up top, you will also see that this one has a hanging rod. So you want to use that to hang up jackets, you can absolutely do that, or you can use it for clothes. But also, take a look at this. Right outside here, you have another spot you can hang up jackets, right? Come in, hang them up right there. Maybe you just want to put shoes in there, you can do that too. This one also utilizes the in-command system, and I personally really like this one uh, for a couple different reasons. One. Well, it's just an easy to use system. Two, when we talk about Cougar and we go to HVAC, you can schedule start and stop times. And that's really effective because you can download an app. And if you have this sitting out at your campsite, you can say, hey, I'm my AC to start at this time, stop at this time. You're good to go. It's controlling it right inside here. Pretty darn nifty. Making our way up into the very front, of course, huge bed. So you don't have to worry about elbowing each other in the middle of the night. Nightstands on the side, kind of a shiplap wall there. MCD roller shade in the front, plus that big, beautiful windshield. Wardrobes on the side. Vent up top, but that is prepped for a second AC if you want one. And there's a spot for a TV right here. So if you want to mount one, you can. Uh, I absolutely love what they have to offer. A fairly comfortable mattress too. 
You know, I mean, I, I say fairly comfortable because when it comes to RV mattresses, none of them are super great. And the reason is because some people like firm, some people like soft. So if you have a thousand dollar mattress, you may not like it because it's not what you sleep on. So I recommend getting your own mattress, but you know, hey, sleep on that one first, right? If you don't like it, swap it out. If you love it, it's a win for you. Let's head on outside here. A couple things I definitely want to hit on on the Cougar, a couple things that I absolutely love. Uh, as we take a look up front, you know, we kind of have our standards, right? You have your power tongue jack, as you would expect on, on a higher end travel trailer. Propane right behind that, battery disconnect again, things we're expecting. Three quarter front cap with LEDs, that beautiful windshield up front. But a couple things I want to talk about. One of them, come around to the side with me. Drop down right here. Do you know what that is, folks? That is auto level. That's not a power stabilizer jack. That is true auto level. You can, touch a, you can touch a button and it will use a combination of your jacks as well as the tongue jack up front to truly level this one out. So when you get to your campsite, you push a button, it levels out, you are all set. You're sitting back and sipping cocktails that much quicker. I love auto level, I'm telling you. It'll save you so much time. That control will be right here. You will also see that ZAMP solar control there as well as the inverter right here. That's part of that uh, Cougar OTG system, that off the grid system. Uh, you, you can't see the solar panel, but trust me, there is a solar panel up there on the roof and you can still have a portable panel if you want. I forget what the exact number is. I think you can have like 300 or 350 watts of solar, something like that on this bad boy. I mean, you can really hook it up. Folks, this is just one of many. Look at this too, also side camera prep. I mean, this thing is loaded. There's so much stuff on this Cougar. I just don't have enough time. Folks, if you're looking for an RV, you want to be able to sleep a lot of people. As you saw, there are a lot of options. This is only one floor plan style, right? I kind of wanted to show you the differentiation in lines and how different they can be, even though they're similar floor plans. There's a ton of different floor plans out there. We have over 20,000 pieces of inventory in stock, over 80,000 coming. If you want to get your hands on one, simply text the word FRESH to 46642. Oh man, woo! That Ian, he's a little coffeeed up, he and I is. like that. <laughs> hey, good for you, buddy. And the thing about that Cougar that I love the most—not only the uh, the floor. What is what, going what, on the what? floors? This is amazing. What is happening? We talk a lot about ice fishing, and we're getting into a segment right now with the Yeti Ice Houses. Yeah. And I tell you what, when you talk about fishing in style, I haven't done a lot of ice fishing, neither of you. But no. when you talk about Yeti. And, and the, the company that's put together the ice houses that are in style, you're going to see some right now that make ice fishing, like, it's almost too convenient. Way too convenient. Yeah. It, it looks so comfy, cozy, and you're, you're bass fishing? Yeah, and that's the cool thing about it is we both like to do a lot of bass fishing. I combine golf and fishing. I keep a fishing pole that we got here at uh, Gander RV and Outdoor in my golf bag. It's actually a telescope rod and reel. It's amazing, but these Yeti ice houses are truly remarkable, and you're not going to believe how comfortable that you will be sitting there doing some ice fishing, and I am so excited about some of these segments. I am too. I heard uh, Zach and Mary are going ice fishing tomorrow. Take it away. Let's see them. Yeah, we're going to take a look at some of those Yeti ice houses coming up. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young. You know, the great thing about the National Tour is we get to go around to regions of the country and display not only the great RVs, not only the great things that you can do with your RV, but also the places where you can get your RV. For example, we are seated right now in the beautiful Coach RV. Coach joined the Camping World family a few years ago, but if you're here in the Minnesota area, the Wisconsin area, the Dakotas, you probably know the coach name. They've been around since 1938. And that's really what Camping World is. We're a network of family dealerships that have come into the family fold to provide you with a national network of strong RV service, strong RV dealerships, and more importantly, strong financial when it comes to buying your RV. So when you go to Camping World, you go to Gander RV and Outdoors, just remember, those are family dealerships that have come along to get together to offer you the best thing possible. And I'm joined by my friends, Zach and Mary. And what did you guys think as soon as you walked into this beautiful showroom? Oh, well, first of all, it's like an outdoor Disneyland. And hearing that it is a family store, Zach and I have always been huge supporters of the mom and pop stores. Yes. Especially <clears throat> over the last year, seeing 
how crushed all of these businesses got because yeah. of the pandemic. So to be able to be here is an absolute honour. It's a beautiful store. You can tell that they put a lot of attention to detail. And obviously, as an outdoors woman, yes. it's pretty amazing to get to see all this amazing taxidermy around. <laughs> I'm getting some inspiration right. for how I want to build my home. Yes, get the decorating ideas. The Absolutely. But it's a great spot, and I highly recommend popping in here, guys. And, you know, when you guys talk about all the things that you cover on the country outdoors, the country outdoor adventures, um, I love how you bring in the local flair as well, how you talk about your experiences coming from Australia because it's pretty obvious mm -hmm. you're like me Chris mm -hmm. you're not from the north well no like you you're obviously not from the Dakotas you I'm know from the south <laughs> yeah, from Just the really south. far south <laughs> <laughs> from Australia yes but you have really built a good strong brand teaching and going through both you and Zach uh, how to really get the most out of the outdoors mm -hmm. and while we're up here we're in the cold season I mean, I think you guys felt it when you came in. It was, you know, the wind chills like negative three, negative four. Mm -hmm. uh, this time of year, pretty much from now to the end of March, it's all about ice fishing. Yes. And I know fishing is something that's near and dear to your hearts, no matter what time of season it is. Yes. And, you know, just touching on what you said, so Zach has hunted and he's been an outdoorsman his whole life. I got into it a little bit later. So for me, it's really important to encourage that barrier of entry to be easier for people. Yes. I'm not an avid ice fisher woman, but I got into it last year and I was lucky enough to catch my first crappie through the ice and my first northern pike through the ice as well. And I'm absolutely hooked. What is great about ice fishing is it's just really fun and casual. Yeah. You know, you can bring a, a bunch of people. You can even sleep out on the ice. They have these incredible ice huts that you can pick up. You can sleep out there. You can cook your food fresh right there, catch a fish and then fry it up and eat it right yes. there. Yes, And it's yes, just yes, a yes. great time. And, you know, if you like to have a little cold beer at the end of it too, there's nothing wrong with that. That's, that's kind of how I like to fish, guys. No. There's nothing wrong with that. And, Zach, you know, we... <laughs> Not that we like to drink when we fish, but we understand the importance of doing some things sometimes. Yeah, you gotta stay warm somehow. Yeah, you gotta stay warm somehow. <laughs> and I'm from Georgia, so when I came through the door today, the first thing I saw was this fire, yes. and then I noticed the taxidermy. But the fire, I was like, that's probably the place to be right now, because it, it is, is cold outside. Mm -hmm. Which is why I wanted to get you guys here, because a lot of people, when they think Camping World, they think Gander, RV, and Outdoors, they see the big dealerships, they forget. It's still the same people, the still same family. Yeah. It's just now they've come into a bigger family. Yeah. And you know we're able to provide that strength. We're able to bring in partners and experts like you guys to not only talk about the RVs, because we're gonna go see some beautiful Yeti wheelhouses here in just a few minutes. Um, but to really kind of tell people, if you're breaking into the market first time, doing some ice fishing, if you've been an avid hunter, an avid fisher, how do you transition into the two? Because really ice fishing is just a way to fish until mm -hmm. summer fish season comes around. Right. That's really at the end of the day, you know, what it is. But being up here, you get to have such a unique experience with mm -hmm. ice fishing. It's something you can't get anywhere. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you can take RVs that are specifically made for ice fishing with you, yeah. That just exemplifies the experience in yeah. a way that, I mean, you have to experience it. Yeah, Absolutely. It's another excuse to get out in the outdoors. Yeah. And with the last year and a half, we need all the excuses we can get to get in the outdoors. Yes. Yes, you absolutely. Know, I think that's why a lot of people have, have realized that 2021 is, is the year of RV travel. Yes. Last year, I mean, let's just call it like it was. It sucked. <laughs> I mean, when last time we talked, we were, you got, we were in different states doing Zoom calls. Right. And it was like, I would love to just be able to sit down, yeah. have dinner, have sup with my friends. Yeah. And... We found out the safest and really the only way to do that was with your own RV. Right. Because you're not having to worry about buying a plane ticket. Who's been in that hotel room before I get yeah. there? I'm taking my home, my safety, my security with me. Yes. And I think you guys are looking at a new RV now too, right? What, what was it? You guys were looking at we a toy are. hauler? I think we're going to look at a fifth wheel. Yeah. Okay. We, uh, being on the road like we are all spring and we'll have our producer with us, having a little more room will be nice. This year we had a travel trailer toy hauler and it was great. We're just looking for a little more space. Yeah. We might still go with the, the toy hauler, though. Yeah. I love having the garage in the back. Even if we don't have a four-wheeler with us or side-by-side, side, it's nice to have that space. It is. So. Yeah. Well, it gives you separation space. Yes, absolutely. And I, you know, even though I want to have that toy hauler section for us to be able to take our hunting gear and put all of our boxes and everything in there, it's imp important for me to have a cozy home to go back to as well. Yeah. And there is such a huge variety of units to choose from. There really is something for everybody and in every cost range as well. So right. if you haven't come to a Gander or Camping World yet to go and check out the different units, I highly recommend it because the service people here are amazing and they'll give you a walkthrough. No pressure at all. Mm -hmm. You can just check it all out. So, yeah. I knew you it's guys awesome. were looking at a toy hauler. Yes. And I'm not going to sway your decision. Okay. 
but I'm gonna sway your decision a little bit. <laughs> so I lined up some wheelhouses, some ice houses Ooh. that are also toy haulers. Oh. So you Perfect. can get the best of both worlds. Actually, wow. you get the best of all worlds. Yeah. An RV that's well built, tremendous insulation. It's also a toy hauler and a fish house all at the same time. That sounds like the perfect place for me. <laughs> Does that sound like I kind of dangled a little carrot oh, yeah. for you a little bit? Absolutely. So I think what we should do now, uh, I hate the fact that we got to get up off of this comfy couch, these comfy chairs, away from the fireplace. But let's take a walk through the dealership here at Camping World of Hugo, and let's take a look at some of these beautiful fish houses. And, and while we go through there, um, <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the actual act of ice fishing okay. because uh, I've only been twice yep. and the first time was just a few years ago um, and I showed up with like just a, I had a big old 36 with you know, like a 20 pound test line on it and the guy was laughing at me and he says, what do you think you're going to catch out of that 10 inch hole? I was like, well, I, I don't know, fish. man. Yeah, I was like, fish. most fish. He says, man, all you really need is like a one or two pound, you know, test line. And he yeah. showed me this little beautiful 12 inch clam rod with yeah. the reel hookup. And I'm sitting there grabbing it like this. He's like, no, 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 no. Tap. Just put your finger over the top and just hold it. And it yeah. just wait. They are so lightweight and it's such a unique experience. Cause yes. it's, you can catch the same fish in the summer, but for some reason walking through and, you know, getting all set up it's all quiet, you're on the ice, and you're away from everything, and that's when reality kind of kicks in. I'm one with nature, finally. Yeah. And I'm holding this little itty-bitty rod, and you just feel, wham, yeah. like you're reeling in a 200-pound marlin. I mean, it's, it's the most amazing, fun thing, I think. Well, and the thing I've with the crappie done. is they can really be very light to the tap, so you've got to really stay concentrated on that hole because they, it'll just be the quickest little tap and then you've got to get them up as well but the rod is like that big it's yeah. tiny did you use any of the garmin devices yes so yeah. i mean we we use one of the finders yeah. and uh, one of the sensors that we drop down into the, yeah. the water which those look, things are amazing right? they are so amazing oh, i'm yeah. so used to the one that's on the back of the bass boat yeah <laughs> you know when we're trolling you got the little screen right there i was like how does this what is this i'm, I'm not used to game. actually installing yeah. it yeah, and they had HD TV, yeah. and I'm like looking at the fish, and he's just, yeah. just like looking right. at you. It's so cool. Yeah. You just go down, up, down. It's, yeah. It's, it's incredible what you can do today, guys. The Technology is amazing. And the best <laughs> thing is people forget that at Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors, you can get all of that all stuff of here. It. You don't have to go anywhere else. Yeah. We got the rods, we got the reels, we got the finders, exactly. we got the suits, we got the gear. Yep. You know, I mean, obviously we've shown examples of all of that type of stuff here at the Ultimate RV Show. But it's nothing quite like watching your fish and you see that and he's sitting there looking at you like this and that lure is just going. <laughs> just bite it. Yeah, and he's not looking, you're like, please God, just take it. This is embarrassing for both of us. Yes. And then finally, wham. I love oh, it. Oh, such a great experience. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about the Yeti, the Voyager Yeti. These are the tracks edition. So I told you I lined up some toy haulers. Yes. These are the fish houses, all aluminum construction, lightweight. Everything that you see here is not gonna be more than 5,600 pounds. Wow. Yeah, because if you're going on the ice, you got to have something lightweight. Right, right. So this first one, this is the 2021 Voyager Yeti T816PK. Once you walk inside, and then we'll, we'll do the outside once we come out, but I want you to see what it's like on the inside. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, not quite roughing it, are you? No, not anymore. And Voyager's been making these for 10 years. This is the 10th anniversary edition. So is this, both of these are beds? Yes. That's great. Yeah, so you have the ones that are on the chain drives. Uh, you see the little controls up there. Yep. Um, obviously, when you want to store your vehicle in here, yeah. you know, you got the tie downs, you know, you see the D rings all over the floor. But the great thing about toy haulers is, like you had mentioned before, it gives you that convenience right. of having additional sleep options yeah. and separation of space options. Oh, yeah. Well, and with this floor, you can throw your stuff in here, your generator, whatever it is, not worry about scuffing up floors. And right. You throw your gear in here. Or coming from the ice outside and having it all muddy. That's what I like the most. Yes. Easy to clean. Plus, you got the uh, the portholes here, so you can just kind of, you know, sweep it all in if you need to. Yep. But you and see, so uh, yeah, out. pull that out. This is how Voyager maximizes wow. the space. Some of these have live wells in them. This is great. So you can put, like, all your tackle needs and everything in yep. here. They even have some that have uh, magnets in them. So oh, you can just, awesome. boom, attack, attach it to it if it's loose, and it won't be bouncing around while you're in transit. But all cedar walls, all oh. cedar construction on here, if you notice that smell, oh, yeah. even through the masks, you know, it kind of smells really good. 
I mean, I would have absolutely no problem in sleeping in this overnight. Right? This is yeah. amazing. I could spend some time in here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not really rough in it. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. And look, more, even more bedding. Yeah, you got double, That's you got right. a single bunk over the jackknife sofa here. You got, and, and the insulation in these, obviously because it's, you know, built for ice houses. Right. You got great insulation. Yeah. You got um, 25,000 BTU furnaces on these. Yeah. Twin 30 pound LP tank, so you can go for a while while you're out and about. The ones we, we're going to see here, this one doesn't have a bathroom. The second one will have just a toilet. And then the third one will actually have a full bath in it. Okay. So you can get everything under the sun. And yeah. the great thing about the Yetis, they're custom. Yeah. So if you see this floor plan, they got 10 tracks additions. They got an angler edition, which is really for fishing because you get live wells mm -hmm. and stuff like that in the storage compartments. And then you get the uh, Grand Escapes, yep. which are the combination of a just high-end RV and a wheelhouse and all at the same time. That's awesome. Well, this is pretty flash, and I love that it's got a cooking stove as well. And yeah. Great quality too, yeah. isn't it? So what they did was they flush mounted these three burner cooktops so that you, when you have the glass cover, you got additional prep space Yes. if you need it. And then when you're ready to go, high output burner here, regular outputs there, got the little LED accent lights, Got the oven, so when you do catch those pikes, those walleyes, that elusive walleye. There you walleye. go, and you can just cook it fresh while you're here. Yep. Keep fishing. And then my Fish favorite, on. my favorite, when you have been fishing Love for that. five and a half hours, and you haven't caught anything, you got what I like to call the Yosemite Sam closet. It's okay, Chris. You, you stay in there and think about what you've That's done. That's right. Yeah, you go in there and you do what's known as contemplate how bad you are at it. <laughs> oh, and it's even got a radio, everyone, so you can jam out while you're in here as well. You see the roof-mounted speakers? We even got a ceiling fan. Oh, yeah. there you go. Because, you know, when you got that 25,000 BTU furnace kick in, it might yeah. get a little warm, yeah. so why not use a ceiling fan? That's amazing. <laughs> we got the cigarette lighter and the USB plugs. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. you got 12 volt, dual USB, um, plenty of storage options. You got a little cell phone holder here. I mean, these are just so yeah. versatile and so they unique. Really you even are. got the USB charger there. You can slide, you know, your cases here with your tackle, your bait on it. And this one can sleep five people comfortably. 3,900 pounds, 3,950 dry, 16 feet long, as low as $11.97 a day. Are you kidding? No. Wow, that is so affordable. Starting at $49,995 for this beautiful, well-built, all-aluminum Yeti Voyager. This is the 816 PK. I'm a fan of these. I am too. Because you got multiple fish holes here. Some of them even have the spear holes. Oh, yeah. Which I've never been spear fishing. But I saw a guy do it while we were up here a couple of back in uh, a couple of years ago, uh, back in February a couple of years ago. That was the coolest. It was so primal. Through an ice hole. Yeah, it, oh, it was wow. just a bit. It's, it's a big square hole instead of these, you know, pull up circular ports, which also have you know the slush stopper on them and stuff yeah. like that, and they're easy. Uh, and they have the little safety lights. So if you're fishing at night, so cool. And you got a couple of ice houses in you while you're in your ice house, you won't do the hut. Yeah. Into it. Yeah. yeah. But the holes are made to fit most of the augers now too. So you got more than 10 inches of clearance. Get your little slush cover so when you're grinding down, don't have to worry about all the slush flying yeah. around. Yeah, and but, I, I love that there's as well, I just saw that before, the ambient lights so that you can have that of a nighttime as well. How cool is that? Yeah. They definitely put a lot of thought into really where do. everything is. Mm -hmm. I love it. That's awesome. So one this the, is the one you come with the boys. Yes. You're going to take your wife out, you go with the one with the toilet. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Which, we, which we're going to go to that one. Unless she likes next. to rough it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. but, I mean, but when she does that, you got to do the... Stand up and block. You know how you used to have oh, to hold the coat? The boys can go hide Everybody in the closet. Outside. That's right. Yeah, Everybody boys, get, get in the closet. <laughs> but you got tons of storage. Oh, I love it. You got tons of room, strut supported. Yeah. You got the bed that comes down. You got the fold over opposing sofas over here that gives you a chance to reconnect, sit down. You know how you were talking about when you catch a crappie? Mm -hmm. You come over here, cook yeah. it. You can enjoy it right there. That's great. And look, no slide. This is eight feet wide. Yeah. But we've, three of, four of us in here, not cramped at all. Super well, you can set this up to where you can have your camera in the, in the water looking at fish. Yes. So you see how it's got the HDMI, the two HDMI ports? Absolutely. If you got your camera, you can plug it right into the TV. Sit back and watch fish. And do you feel how plush the couches are? Oh, yeah. They're Sit nice. down and check that out. Okay. That kicks out into a sleeper. Uh, Tell me yeah. that's not nice. Oh, super comfortable. Yeah. That's not, like a bucket rough. list thing for me is to sleep on the ice and catch a nice big pike through it. Right. Yeah. 
So, and these right. also, so a, a lot of other little features come in them too. You got a roof mounted uh, AC, you got a roof mounted 100 watt solar panel. So if you want to trickle charge your battery, cause it's got a deep cell battery That's in it as great. well. You know, you got the propane, you got the deep cell battery. Now most of them run on 30 amp service too, but if you're out on the North shore, or if you're somewhere like, you know, if you're on one of those border lakes, don't think you're going to get 30 amp service in the middle yeah, of nowhere exactly. unless I'm missing something. So, you know, I yeah. could absolutely be wrong. Uh, but this one sleeps five, four to seven, really, if you think about it. Yeah. 3,900 pounds okay. starts at 49,995 as low as $11.97 a day for a Voyager Yeti. Incredible. Now, these Ultimate RV Show prices are only going to last during the show. So if you're interested in something like this, drop us a comment down below. Uh, RV or text RV to 46642. You can also, if you say, hey, Chris, I like these, but I hear you got 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. How do I get in on that? Easy. Just text fresh to 46642 or drop us a comment down below fresh. Now, um, with Zach and Mary here, my outdoor, my, my fishing specialists, does this have enough room for your gear? I think so. If you're going to go for a long weekend, I would say so, okay. especially with having the toy hauler section. Like right. I said, you can just throw stuff in here and pile it up. And Shove it in. But I mean, look, there's plenty of storage here too. Yeah, and that whole front room on this one's storage. Yeah, so it's pretty much a closet. I think but there'd be room for everything you need. I would like to see one that had a bathroom in it, yes. maybe. <laughs> that's that's why I was asking. So this is the H16. This yeah. is you know one of the smaller ones. Obviously, they range so many different variants, so many different color schemes but you're always gonna get that quality, all aluminum construction. You're gonna get yeah. the cedar inside, which to me, I think just adds oh. just such a nice feel. So the ambience for sure, it's all about yeah. it. It's very warm and cozy and I love it. I just... You want one with the toilet? I want one with well, the toilet. Let's go check out the one with the toilet. <laughs> and then I'm gonna, save the, I'm, I'm gonna save the biggest one for last, the one okay. with the whole shower. All right. Um, but the great thing about you know being up here in the, the upper Midwest, when you come to these showrooms, you never know what you're going to see. I mean, yeah. we're, we're sitting here walking through some wheelhouses, uh, and we'll actually talk about uh, the wheels and the tandem and the double axles and okay. the hydraulic lifts once we get to this last one. Um, but you'll see Class Cs, you'll see fifth wheels, you'll see small travel trailers, you'll see um, you know big travel trailers, you'll see everything that you know you, the family, the couple, the kids, whatever yeah. you want to take, can find. Um, and since they're inside, you don't have to worry about braving the elements. Yeah. You know, you can come inside, walk these units. Most of them are powered. That's why I love these, you know, upper Midwest yeah. showrooms because you get to see everything in them. There's now, really something for everyone. Yeah. And actually, John, if you don't mind, come around here. I'm going to step over. So see if you can get this back here. All the Yetis have all aluminum. You got the aluminum roof as well. And you got these LED light strips and the floodlights for additional security, additional safety, yes. or additional, you know, additional lighting. And check out... Easy to open doors. Obviously, I'm not going to open it because we got our golf carts yep. back here. But the friction assist when it comes to the door, so safety, security. You got your backup lights, the whole nine. Good looking, solid. Pretty and rugged. airtight too. Yep. You can tell. You got yep. those good seals on there. Yep. So this one that we're walking into, this is uh, number two. This one does have the bathroom. Okay. This is the H17 PKH. Okay. And Voyager with their Yetis has so many letters and numbers and combinations <laughs> because you can get just about anything. Yeah. But like the one we went in, yellow, champagne, this one's black, and then the last one we're gonna do, I believe, is or it was red, and this one's black. Okay. You can get any, any color combination that you want. This one has the awning and the speakers, too. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah, because oh, yeah. if you think about it, you can also use this all year round because you got oh, the screen door. I love that. I mean, what a great option. Yeah. Or even if it's wintertime, you can still come out here and hang out, do some fishing outside. You don't have to use just the holes on the inside. No. Most of them have five or seven holes in them. Yeah. Why not just bring the chairs and the beers set out here? Oh, you yeah. own three foot plus feet of ice. Yeah. Hang out, have some fun. Oh, that's awesome. Play some music. So here, please. Okay. Walk into this beauty. <laughs> A little bit bigger. Yes, it is. A little bit little different bigger. arrangement. Oh, it has a refrigerator's in a different spot. Yeah, this has got a 110 volt dorm style fridge. Love that. So, because for me, I like to, uh, I like RVs with outside kitchens, but when it comes to wheelhouses, yeah. uh, it's going to be cold anyway. But right. I like to keep my bourbon in the fridge. Yeah. So when I do my three finger pour, yeah. <laughs> I can get my cold bourbon with my three finger pour. Exactly. I love that. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> well, here, I think you're keeping your beer in this fridge so it doesn't freeze. Yes. You yeah. Just yeah. Out there. yeah, you can just stick it in ice out there, you'll be fine. <laughs> it's not for too long out there. Holy cow. But you it's notice nice. this one, a little bit different. Yeah, it doesn't have the table. All right, let's see what yeah. it has here. But look what this one has. Ooh. Got your tackle box holder. Oh, yep. that's nice. Got a live well. For Got a live well. I love that. Aerator. With an aerator in it. Wow. Yep. Yeah, that runs. Plus, you got the LED lights. You can see, you know, stuff moves around. So, you know, a little bait well, if you will. That's perfect. This is just great for just keeping everything organized. organized. I love this. Which I have that problem of a finding a lure that actually works. Yeah. Uh, and then b losing it because I just end up throwing it into a box. Yeah. And it just goes anywhere. Yeah. These, a lot of them also have, like I mentioned, the magnets inside. Yeah. So it'll keep everything in place. That's nice. Live well. So another. I got my slide outs over here. More storage. Oh yeah, and that yeah. looks like, is that a little bit, no, it's, is that deeper? No. These okay. should all be the same depth. That's the same. Yeah, and then let's this see This would be good for Zach's camera gear. You hear the air pump? Oh yeah. Running. So That's cool. On a separate switch, which is nice. Oh, like that is great. Yeah. yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> But once again, the opposing sofas. This one also comes with the table. We just moved it out. Okay, it does. Um, okay, great. Yeah, so, but what's great about the table, because a lot of times when you see the RVs, you got those holes in the ground where you put the pipes. Right. And, and that's the only spot you can do your table. Yeah. These, you can move the table here. You can move it over there. So if you want to eat, you can move it outside. That's very nice. Options and functionality. Yes. Still I got the roof-mounted AC. Yep. Still got the 25,000 BTU furnace. That thick insulation, foam core insulation. Tons of storage. Tons of storage. Great. Bunk. Yeah. So that's the same. Oh, I'm sorry. Great couch as well. Mm-hmm. Very plush. Yeah, and I, these... I love that that goes up as well so you can move that and get a bit more space. These bunks, I mean, 250-pound capacity on those. you got the jackknife sofa here. We always say the jackknife can sleep one person, but, I mean, if you got kids... You put a couple on there, or if you like the spoon, somebody's gonna be the big spoon, yeah. the little spoon. Uh, I'm usually a little spoon. Oh, yeah. um, this is it. This one will sleep anywhere from four to seven as well. Okay. Ceiling fan, still got the flush mounted three burner cooktop. We added a sink yeah, that's right nice. over there, which is a nice that's addition. That's great. And this one's got um, a 12 gallon fresh tank and 10 gallon gray, 10 gallon black tank. Amazing. So that could actually go for a little while. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Now, you know what I really want to see? <laughs> How about a cedar-lined bathroom? That is nice. Right? Yeah. Oh, and there's more storage, too. Oh, absolutely. So you can put, great, all the amenities. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wonderful. Now, this one, 4,950 pounds dry, easily sleeps six, 17 feet long, starts at $26,995 or as low as $6.67 a day. Yeah. So for That's something amazing. you'd use seasonally, would you get a couple buddies and go on, on go in on this? Absolutely. That'd be There's a way to do it. There's a lot of people that do that. Yeah. And you, you know, you bring that up. Um, one thing that we don't really touch on are finance options. Okay. Uh, we have so many, because we are the largest. We're the biggest in the world. We got the more inventory in the world mm -hmm. and the banks want to work with us. So we're yeah. able to bring more aggressive opportunities for people who are looking to finance. Um, if you got a couple of friends want to go in and finance one, yeah, absolutely work that deal. Talk to the finance specialist. And nowadays you can actually buy this online. The paperwork can be sent to you, postage paid. You don't even have to leave the comfort of your couch or your camp chair. We'll have it delivered to you. I think this would be great as well if you've got like a couple of kids, just having the toilet, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about it. You could come out here for the night with the kids, Yeah. stay here. There's plenty of room to be able to, you know, wash and cook and stuff like that. And it's, yeah, it's cozy. Well, and you'll see a lot of times, especially, you know, when, when families get fish houses, you'll see a lot of times they'll, they'll bring like six, seven people. Yeah. People will be sitting here fishing, people will be sitting over there fishing, That's talking, awesome. hanging out. It's really a good way to reconnect yeah. in an area and a time that you don't think you could reconnect. Yeah, and even for you know those who don't actually want to fish, you can just come and hang out because it's so warm and cozy in here. Mm -hmm. And yeah. since it is a toy hauler, you still got 120 by 68 cargo space. Oh yeah. Plus you got the tie downs. Yep. So okay. if you want to bring your ATV, yeah, which a lot of these can be towed by ATVs in place. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be perfect. You absolutely can. Oh, well, they keep great. getting nicer, so I'm excited to see the next one. <laughs> oh, just wait. 
Yeah, we're going to go check that one out. I'm scared to see the next one because I'm probably going to want to buy it. Well, I mean, I knew you guys were looking for a toy hauler. I'm not saying I set it up, you know, for failure. But, as a matter of fact, here, let's take a look at these. So, with these hitches, what's great about these is they're hydraulic. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of times with the RVs, you know, you got to get the crank, you know, yes. and there's, there's no movement in the hitch. Yes. Where the hitch is is where the trailer is. Right. With these... You can actually just hook it up, pull it straight like this, or the hydraulic, or because it's going to sit right down on the ground. The same thing with the uh, with the wheels. Some of them are uh, manual, but most of them are hydraulic and automatic. Oh, I know he loves the sound of that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you see, we got the strong tire right there to bolt it in. Uh, but double axle Dexter Easy Loop axles on these and hydraulics, man. So when it's ready to go, yeah. shoop, come up. Take it off. When it's ready to go down on the ice, boom. And you got solid connection all the way through on the ice so you don't get those gaps. I'm all about the hydraulics. Otherwise, I'll be out here fighting it and she'll be in the truck in the warmth. Yeah. Right. And hurry up. <laughs> Before we head inside, I just wanted to take note. I yep. really love that there are awnings on these units because, you know, when you're on the ice, it can be quite reflective as well. Yes. So that is a very nice feature. And even if you, like, want to set up outside, it just gives you that little bit of shade. And yeah. Yeah, it's well, lovely. It, it's it's kind of like a uh, a congregation point. Yeah, this I is love you it. know this is where we're going to kind of hang out. It extends the unit. Mm -hmm. You know, it gives you the, just that more space that's yours. Yep, that you can hang out in. Yeah. So this is the T eight twenty one PKF, okay. twenty one feet long, fifty five hundred pounds dry, Ooh. and wait till you see this one. Okay. Right yep. Ladies first. Ladies first. Beautiful cedar lined walls. Plenty of space. Now, a little this bit is more what room. I'm talking about. And you're going to see bigger couches in this. <laughs> oh, but yeah, look at that. The bunks. Wow. Over here, still the same. You got the larger fridge. You got the fridge freezer this combo nice. on this one. Once again, 110 volt. Yeah. This is like, I could stay for a week in this yes. or longer. This well, is, see, it's a house. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's why they made them this way. All right, what's behind door three? <laughs> More space. More storage. Yep. A little bit more on this one, too. Longer. I really love, as well, that just the detail of having the carpet on the bottom so that things, when if they get knocked around, they're not going to, like, break. Yep. You know? It's a, it's a nice little detail. Around yep. Yeah, for our stuff. And feel how plush those, those couches are oh. back there. The same ones that are up front. When it's time to, oh. to st you know, you got 120 by 58 cargo space here. This is huge. So, right? You could fit easy three people on this, right? Yeah. 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 And then when they're ready to kick down, you got yourself pretty much uh, like almost a king size bed, right? That's there. amazing. You got another one up here. Here's our table, which is mounted okay. up here. Oh, that's so great. I could lay in bed with a fishing rod in my hand. Yeah. You could have a party in this thing. You Chris. absolutely can. That's what's great oh, about the fish houses. Oh my goodness, houses. I love it. If you want to make them just bunks, you could just have somebody lay out on the bunk. If you want to make it, you know, these fold over. They touch, then you got a whole bed space right here, just like you have two. That's awesome. So you got like two full size bunks on top of each other. Wow. Large fridge, jackknife, and bunk over here. And of course, what you wanted to see. Yeah. We're gonna see it's here. It's nice. For all those tall people, which is not me, I'm pretty sure, but <laughs> <laughs> so my husband doesn't bump his head. <laughs> the other thing you'll notice is convenience, because they still put those USB charging ports pretty much all the way around these things. I mean, I love Yeti, yeah, that's great. Yeti's been doing it right for 10 years. Mm -hmm. They make a beautiful coach. We'll see, we got the sink, we got the flush mounted three burner cooktop, this the is microwave. A bit as well, isn't it? It is. A bit just more a little cooking bit. space. Well, yeah, with this one being 21 feet long, you know, it pretty much it just as you get bigger, just stuff expands. Yeah. But Take a look at that. Oh, wow. Fritz, oh, you get it, it has a full, this is a full bathroom. That is a full bathroom. So I wanted to show you one that just had the storage room. This then is. you got one that just has the toilet and now you got a full bath. How right nice is that? And that's, you know, it's, it's not like a, it's not too squishy this shower. It's like yeah. really easy to get into. Yeah, that's a, yeah, it's a residential. It's a 36 inch single surround Plenty shower. Plenty of room for the tall Plenty men. Of not gonna have a problem with that one at all. Nope. This is great. After catching all the fish, I might get sweaty and need a shower. So. Yeah, they put a lot uh. of thought into how they've <laughs> how they built this with the toilet and the shower. It's not complicated. No, no. Some at of all. them, you know, you've there's like I've been in my, my friend's campers before where it's just a little uncomfortable if you're tall like him, but right. that's perfect. Let me tell wow. you, they have made it, you know, especially here in 2021, you are glamping. Yeah. Whenever yeah. you do anything. Now this one. 
5,500 pounds. You can get this one for as little as $12.45 a day. Are you kidding? Starts at $51,992. That's not that much of a difference from the smallest one. Right? Uh, I mean, there's, there's options for every style, every budget. All you yeah. gotta do is find the one that's right for you. Yeah, absolutely. Oh do you need gosh. one for the bathroom? Do you need one with a full bath? Do you need one with just the toilet? It's 84 inches of, of ceiling space in here, cedar yeah. walls. I mean, it's, and there's no slide. Luxury. It's a toy hauler and no slide. Yeah. <laughs> you got yeah. eight feet of space <laughs> in between here. Plenty of space. You've got the music speakers again. Yep. You got the wine Everything. guard up there, the Wi-Fi booster if you need it. And this one has um, a nine gallon fresh tank, dual 10 gallon uh, gray and black tank, 10 and 10. And then you got the 30 pound LP tanks, the twin 30 pound LP tanks. You still got, you know, your, your dumps, your connections, the whole nine, 30 amp service if you need it. But this one will allow you, if you need to go off the grid, yeah. you can go off the grid. The insulation in here will keep you warm. Yeah. You know, when you want to run that 25,000 BTU furnace, which is pretty strong for something that's only 21 feet long. Yeah. That's that's pretty strong for a furnace. Oh, this is incredible. I'm yeah. so impressed. It extends uh, the ice fishing season. People oh, that have yeah. never been ice fishing before, and they think about it, they probably think like grumpy old men, little shack. Yes. This <laughs> is not that. No, gone are the <laughs> gone are the days of building the shanty. Yeah. yeah. Well, and the great thing about these too that we, you know we really didn't touch on. So you see how many holes? Yeah. We have here. You're not stuck with just one hole. Well, you know, depending on how many people you have in here, say you have a group of seven or mm -hmm. whatever, almost everybody gets a hole. Yeah. You know? And you, if you say, you know what, the fish aren't biting here, it's yep. only 5,500 it pounds, pick it up, move it to another spot. That's amazing. It's easy. You got everything contained here. You got plenty of storage space, plenty of room, and all of this for as low as $12.45 a day. I mean, I, I didn't want to try to sway your decision. Oh. No, you have. For toy haulers. <laughs> you have. I mean, the, the large refrigerator and the full-size bathroom and the full-size bed, it's well, pretty impressive. I I think that's what I would like to Well, do. when we come up here ice fishing, <laughs> we come with, with our friend, Mitch Petrie. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to put that bug in his ear. Yeah. yeah. Tell him it's time for an upgrade. I think oh, yeah. it's time for an upgrade. Yeah. And, I mean, it's easy to get. And during the <laughs> Ultimate RV Show National Tour, you can get that upgrade as easy as just dropping Thanks. RV down below in the comments or text in RV to 46642. Um, but Zach and Mary, with your experience of fishing, this is something I ask and it's a very unfair question. Yeah. You know how bad I am. Having this, would it increase my catching capacity? Oh, 100%. Yeah, because it's just the opportunity then to be out on the ice. Right. Yeah. I wasn't as confident, Chris. <laughs> Oh, you're mean. <laughs> he, well, no, he knows how bad I am. I get out there You'll to... You'll be comfortable while you're not catching anything. Exactly. And, you so, know, at the end of the day, if I'm comfortable, my friends are happy, and we're right. doing it in the safety and security of our yeah. own wheelhouse, then I think that's a win. But yeah. they say feel good, look good, play good, so... Well, hey, maybe if you're in here and you're comfortable, you'll fish better. One out of three ain't bad. Any yeah, day fishing me. is better than not fishing, right? Yes. So... A bad day fishing is better than a good day at the exactly, office any day. Exactly, exactly. But, no, I do actually think... If you've got a unit and you can actually get out onto the ice and don't have to rely on somebody else, then yes, obviously your odds are going to be higher. Right. You just need to do a little bit of scouting, get yourself one of those Garmin devices as well because they yes. show you where the fish are and then yep. you just work around it. And there's apps that you can download these days as well. That, that help show point you. it out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you can probably get all of that here at Camping World as well and just have a little chit chat to the customer service people and they can get you all set up. So yep. Don't need to be an expert. Also, your Game and Fish websites should have a bunch of information on there for where you can go and fish too. Yes, Seasonally. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. There, there's so many great uh, resources, and we have pros at all of our locations that can help you with those resources. Uh, it, we got people standing by right now that if you're looking for that wheelhouse, you're looking to upgrade that fishing experience, you're done with building the shanty, you want something that's <laughs> going to be right for you and your family, but you also want something that's going to be versatile enough you can use it as an RV and take it other than just ice fishing, mm -hmm. just reach out to us. They are standing by to walk you through and give you the one that's going to fit your lifestyle and your budget. Just drop us a comment down below, RV or text RV to 46642. With over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, we got something that's going to be right for you. Get in on that and lock in the show pricing by texting FRESH to 46642 or dropping us a comment down below, FRESH. Let our experts guide you down the road of finding what's going to fit your lifestyle and your budget. Zach and Mary from Country Outdoors. 
I love you guys. Love you too. Thank you guys so much for joining us and talking a little bit about ice fishing. We have more with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continuing from up here in the beautiful North Midwest. Who wants to go to South Dakota real quick? I love South Dakota. One of my favorite places. Have you ever been to the Peace Gardens? No, but we, right. we pheasant hunt in South Dakota. All right, we're going to go to the Peace Gardens. We'll see you all later with the Ultimate RV Show National Ooh. Tour continued. Bye. I'm going to follow that guy. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99. And patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacation just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. So you got a North Carolina boy, a Georgia boy, and an Australian lady. It's going to tell you a little bit about ice fishing up here in the upper Midwest, because that's how we do it. Zach and Mary from Country Outdoors, welcome to some ice fishing. Thank now, you. Now, you guys have been ice fishing. Yes. And you know how much fun it is. Love it. It's a great way to spend the time while waiting for the summer fish. And if you notice, I'm sitting here holding two wonderful rods. Now, a lot of people don't know, but at Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors, we are the ice fishing headquarters. Yeah. It used to be back in the day, oh, we got to go to Gander and get all the ice fishing equipment. It's still the same today, whether you're looking for rods, reels, rigs that are all put together. Feel this one right here. So that right there. So, so this is the St. Croix. That's the St. Croix Mojo. So that's good if you want to do some pan fishing while you're ice fishing. This one right here, the other St. Croix, which St. Croix and Sakana are my two favorite brands yeah. that you can find in Gander and Camping World. But we have so many to choose from. Pan fish, the all elusive walleye, and you'll notice mm -hmm. the strength between the two. Yes, definitely. So many options, so many ways for you to make sure you get the best ice fishing possible. And when you want to get out on the ice and stay comfortable, because Zach and I were talking about this earlier. We're from the south. we got to stay a little warm. <laughs> Clam and otter make some great pullovers and huts and hubs for you to use. So whether you're looking for a two-person, a one-person, one with a sled, one without your sled, we have options up and down. Awesome. And speaking of, I mean, when you want to get out there and make sure you get the right, the right little rig going, yeah. you're going to do some pan fishing. Look, it's all about the feel and the tip. Right. So that when you're doing a one pound or a two pound line to set that thing, you gotta make sure you get one that's got the right feel for you. This looks about exactly what I was fishing with last year when I was crappie fishing up here yeah. on Lake Independence. Yes. Caught my first crappie on the ice. Nice, yeah. how was that? It was fun. What I realized is, is they really hit it so light that you yes. have to really be paying a lot of attention. These things are just amazing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They're, they're so lightweight, and you'll notice the tip has so much feel and give into it. You're right, and the, the biggest mistake I made was adding too heavy of a line. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I came, I was doing like 10, 12, 15 pound lines, because I'm thinking, mm -hmm. I'm gonna catch a walleye. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not, it's, it's, it's elusive for a reason. Mm -hmm. So you get that lighter weight test line, that's yep. really where the feel comes in, get yep. a lighter rod, and it's such an experience, because a three, four pound fish, feels like you're wrestling a hundred Yeah, pounds. it's so true, <laughs> it's, it's so true. I think we'll but, be using one of these tomorrow. Yeah, yes. absolutely, yeah, no, I hate I'm gonna miss going fishing with you guys. I mean, Aww. of course you had to plan it when I'm not going to be there. Yeah, <laughs> that was that the was, whole point. No, yeah, I'm kidding. Was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mary. Yeah. So with everything that we have as far as options, whether you're looking for rigs that are already put together, if you're going to cast, if you're going to spin, everything that we have here at Gander RV and Outdoors and Camping World is fit to make that ice fishing life easy. So now, convenient. during this segment, we won't get a chance to go through everything. I just wanted to show you some of the options, some of the things that you can get, but we have pros on staff. Like up here in Forest Lake, my buddy Dave, who's walking around here somewhere, he can help you pick out what's right for you. No matter the gear, bait, tackle, rods, reels, augers. Augers. Which, yeah, I know you got a great yeah, little auger story. I did, yeah, last time, same time when I was up here last year and I was crappie fishing, I got to then go over to Lake Minnetonka and go fishing for walleye and I got to use one of those augers and drill my own hole. You gotta be careful with those things because they can, they take a lot of weight to push down and then they can slip through your hands really easy, guys. Push down, you keep pushing down. Do as straight as you can. <laughs> Now we can reverse it. So here it's we a lot of fun getting to drill your own hole. That's exactly. That's, I was that's like, oh. why I like the, the ions because okay. they have the big handles. Yeah. And some of them have charges for up to eight hours. We'll see those that's here awesome. in just a second. But if you're looking for just ends, if you want splits, if you want fulls, something for casting, something for spinning, rigs, you want reels separate. We have everything you need at 
Gander RV and Outdoors and Camping World. Oh, now let's walk familiar. on down. We see some of the clam hubs and huts. Um, and uh, this time of year, it's so tough to keep a lot of stuff in stock. Yes, yeah, right. so if you need a sled. Yep. Uh, and these are great because they're lightweight, but they're insulated. Yeah, so they look really cozy. Warm. Yeah, they're very warm and cozy. Good eyesight, good visibility, but also good insulation when you need it. Awesome. Yeah, being from the see. south, we need something like that. Yeah. Oh, no, this is another one of my favorites. Ugly stick. Oh, yeah. I've been using ugly stick since a kid. Yeah. Uh, and you'll notice with these rods, you know, with those small ones, you get... You see the gear that, in there? Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Bam, and it sets. We also have the little set traps too. You know, okay. if you just want to leave it and let it do the automatic set, we got you covered there as Perfect. well. Perfect. Right, I'm gonna carry this with me because I might end up that's buying That's how you got your pike last I year, see, wasn't uh, it? Yeah. <laughs> I see the drills down yeah, here. Yeah, here's the augers. <laughs> so the Ion, uh, the Eskimo, great brands. They're no well up here. So if you're looking for eight inch, 10 inch, you know, whatever you need, just make sure that A, you're safe with it. Uh, you charge it up. And uh, don't make the mistake that I made of doing the uh, letting go when you think it's done. And tell me this, Chris, uh, how many inches does the ice have to be for you to start drilling? I, I would say, uh, you know, safety wise, yeah. I always try to consult with an, you know, with an area specialist, consult with one of the specialists yeah. at Gander or Camping World. Perfect. But for me, I'm thinking three feet. Yeah. I'm thinking three feet because if you're going to bring something out there, plus I'm a little bit. Yeah. I've it's, been eating some of them cheese curds. In yeah. South Dakota this year, we went out and the guy said, two inches is fine, let's go. And I was like, man, <laughs> I'm not used to walking on ice and that's two inches isn't a whole lot two, of ice. Yeah, so. that's, that's a whole lot Wait of ice. Wait until you still, see another truck yeah. on there first. <laughs> but whatever you need, whether it's rods, reels, we also have some of, some of the most popular lines, lures. This right here is one of the most popular ones this year right now, Ooh. these demons. That's all you need. Oh, yeah. So. That's awesome. Yeah, So and, and I know we're, we're, we're really pressed on time, so we're going to go through and just everything you need. Rods, reels, lure. Look at the selection of lures that we have here. And your fishing license, right? Yeah, You can absolutely. get your fishing licenses right now, here as well, which is great and convenient. Talking about being comfortable, come on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look at the, the electronics. Oil. You got to get that competitive edge. Yep, the Garmin. Bada bing, bada boom. These things are incredible. It's like a Game Boy for fishing. <laughs> yeah. And to, to wrap it all look off, obviously here. you got to get your aqua views. Yeah. Get that, see that fish. You can see that lure when it comes in. So these are great for like uh, tipping for pike and stuff like that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Get the competitive advantage. Get all your ice fishing gear at Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors today. I'll be honest with you, I'm a little jealous right now that they got to do that Yeti segment. Did you see those beautiful ice houses? Oh my They're gosh, amazing. the ice houses, the hydraulics on the Yetis, the the full rig. Yeah, the otters were awesome too. Yeah. We've actually been in those with the seats and they you can pull them around on a sled and they're all insulated and we've learned so much. But my favorite part was when Mary did the drilling on the ice there <laughs> and what? You, know, you got to have the good stuff to go through. That's right. it's, the point is we have everything you need because I've always wondered about, you know, who makes the hole? Do you take a spoon yeah, and start do do? digging? Or, yeah. I'm kidding, obviously. But listen, this is what it's all about, getting you what you need to get out there and do what you need to do, especially up here in the uh, upper Midwest. Wait until you see this unit we're going to show Oh, show my right gosh. Now. But wait, guys, last chance to register. Text oh. URBS to 46642. We're giving away an RV. Yes, coming up very soon. So get into it right now and right now oh you got to see this this is the integra coach this is the big one chris and mike from gander rv and outdoor take it away ultimate rv show national tour you know one of the things that we love is when we come to all of these regions we're now in week seven of the show we're up here in the upper midwest we got minnesota we got wisconsin we got north and south dakotas and we got mike McKelvey joining me to talk about this staff pick mike what's up hey welcome hey, to the team baby. I'm, I'm happy to be here man yeah. it's cold outside but it's it warm in here yeah it is we have got some great things going you so guys got a be, beautiful showroom here too man we do the biggest showroom in minnesota yes uh lots of inventory i'll say unlimited inventory because that's exactly what it is it's totally unlimited i love it. anything you need we can get for you Absolutely. at a great price. Because so. you know we got 80,000 factory fresh units coming. Yes. Over 20,000 on the lights, over 160 locations. And <clears> when <throat> you come to Camping World, you come to Gander RV and Outdoors, yes. you're going to find cats like Mike who can help you find the one that's right for you. Now, Thank you. Uh, we, we challenged you to pick out a <laughs> unit for us to go through together. It was a tough challenge. I bet it we was a tough challenge. We have so much to choose from, so it was a tough challenge. But you I found guys, a good one. You I nailed found a good one. It. You absolutely nailed it. Yes. So, yes. John, pan out and check out this beautiful. This is the 2021 <clears throat> Integra Coach Esteem 30X. This is a gorgeous 32 feet, 6 inch long, 
uh, 14,500 pound coach. You got a 47 gallon fresh tank, 41 gray, 31 black. And Mike, what we're gonna do is I think we should start inside because even though we got this beautiful full body paint on this thing, that automotive coating where you won't get the fading, you get the additional durability. I say we start on the inside because that's where the wow factor really is. That sounds good. It's yeah. hard because of it, it's so beautiful, yeah. but we will start on the inside. Absolutely. There's so much to talk about. So the first thing when I walked in was I noticed, and Fritz, <clears throat> hopefully you can see, can you get how long and beautiful this thing is? We got separation of space, yes. and we got upgraded residential features inside this beauty. Yes, so you do. in this area, tell me a little bit about, you know, when people come in, they look for RVs, mm -hmm. what do they want to do with them? Well, they, you know, they want to take them different places. You want to go to Arizona. You want to go to California. You want to go to the Dells. Yes. You want to be comfortable. Yes. You want to go to the lake. With this, you've got so much comfortability. You have got, you know, up here, 750 pounds can put up here. So that's, that means I can actually get up here and sleep, <laughs> and I won't fall down. You have got the beautiful view. So you wake up in the morning, you can look at the sunset. At night, you can see the stars. Yes. You can watch the game up top, watch Netflix, whatever you're doing. That's got a Blu-ray player. It and it's got Blu-ray, yeah, and you got wow. and and here you you just you're just comfortable. The nice plush leather. Yes. Uh, you got the removable table to give you a little more room. Yep. And it's just it's nice and sturdy, easy in, easy out. This and what's what's great about these. So they are plush, they're comfortable. The Dream Dinettes, or as I like to call them the Dream Dinettes, Integra has their own. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have the legs, easily reduces down into a sleeper. Now this one will sleep anywhere from like six to eight people. Yes. And what you're talking about right up here with this bunk over cab, mm -hmm. man, you are absolutely right. This thing is beautiful. 750 pound capacity, that's more than any other Class C in the market. Yeah. So, you know, and I, I know I was thinking about that when you pulled this one out, you said, man, we're gonna do that esteem. It's like. All right, I've been up here eating me some walleye fingers, <laughs> eating me some cheese curds, yes. eating me a lot of beef. Yes. And I'm like, I see what Mike's doing. He's he's that was his way of telling telling me I need to back off a little bit because I'm packing on the LB. Right. I'm gonna put that extra. You're trying to catch up. That's how I try to catch up. But with this ABS surround up here, mm -hmm. you have so many storage options. It's nice. You got additional insulation, additional security, and just beauty, comfort, and style all kind of merged into one with this 30X. Yeah, I mean, this is such a good pick. Yes. Plus you got the privacy curtain right here. You do. 84 inches of height in the ceiling. You got the padded uh, ceiling in here too. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the one thing I, I def definitely didn't want you to do was get mad at me. Uh, and, and we're gonna get to the cab here in a minute. Of course. But if you had to say, on a normal day, when somebody mm -hmm. comes in and they pick out this Integra Coach Esteem sure. 30X, mm -hmm. what would you think the price would be? You know, I would think if I'm just coming in as a customer, mm -hmm. $140,000, $150,000 for everything that you're getting. Yeah. But spot on. Yes. You are spot on. And if you go to the competition, it's going to be even more than that. Yes. Don't get mad at me. You know it's the ultimate RV show national. Yes, tour. please. I'm I'm gonna cut everything. I might get got. angry. You are gonna get angry. We gotta make a profit. <laughs> so here's the deal. I don't know if you're gonna do it on this one. <laughs> right. I'm gonna start this one at one twenty five nine ninety five. Wow. Or as low as twenty four dollars and seventy cents a day. That's called Hercules. That's a Hercules <laughs> that is, price. That is a Herculean effort. Yes. And you yes, know, it's the ultimate RV show national tour. And since we're up here in Forest Lake, we're in this yes. beautiful gander. Yes. Um, you guys broke out such a great unit. And you have such a good team here, too. Um, and that's one of the best things about Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors are our team of folks. They're personable. They're nice. I mean, Mike, Mike's got such a great automotive background and customer service background. So putting him in the management spots, that's why we do it. Because we bring the good people in so you can work with them. You want to get in on this one? Easy. Just drop us a comment down below, deals or text deals to 46642. Now, this cab, speaking of the comfortable leather, these swivel captain chairs that are the leatherette, mm -hmm. I got the molded cup holders and storage <laughs> compartment up here and the nine and a half inch touchscreen Sony Command Center. I love this because it'll tie into your Bluetooth. It's also your backup camera. Correct. And since you got side vision on this beauty, yes. you hit the blinkers, whatever side you go, it's going to pop up what's on the side of it. Yes, it will. So that's just a very nice touch. We're sitting on the Ford E450 chassis on this too. We'll get to the engine uh, once we get outside. But another great feature of the Integra Esteem here, you got a stronghold vacuum bonded laminated floor and side walls. They did Correct. not just the floor and the walls, they did the entire thing vacuum bonded. So 
great insulation. Yes. 30,000 BTU furnace, 15,000 BTU AC. Yes. And You've nailed it. Dude, this gorgeous residential yep. Lots of room. supported storage. I mean, come on, man. Yep, lots of room. You can put everything in. Now, I hide the good Girl Scout cookies whenever I go camping because my kids like mm -hmm. to grab them. Or me. Yeah. I love to eat them. Yeah, yeah just grab them. Yeah. But, but, but do, you, but do you, you have kids? I do. Have yes, I have three kids. Okay, so here's what mine do. <clears throat> they find my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. They'll eat the last one in the box. Do your kids know my kids? I think they might. <laughs> okay. And then they'll leave the box in the cabinet. Yes. I'm like, yes. why do you do that to me? It's yes. just disrespectful. Yes. Got your little mud room, hanger storage here. Now, this one has electronic automatic leveling too. You'll see that down there where my foot is. That's awesome because you just pull up, hit a button, boom, you're good to go. I got my 4,000 watt Onan generator on here that has the uh, quiet, the whisper quiet mode on it. So when you set up at the campsite, it doesn't have that big loud roar and rumble. And I think that's one of the big things. It's easy access. Everything is so easy to do. Yeah. Anybody can do it. Yeah. You know, and you can just, it's just a touch of a button and you're working everything. It's just so simple. And you know, driving Class C's aren't as, as bad as people think. No. Um, I mean, if you've driven like a Suburban or something like that, you've yes. pretty much driven a Class C. This yes. one, 32 feet, six inches long, mm -hmm. 14,500 pounds is the uh, you know weight on it. I mean, it's not that bad at all. Yes. And the way that they design them, the transmissions, you're on the Ford E450 chassis. So it's mm -hmm. gonna be an easy drive. And, and safety, safety, safety. Yes. So lots of safety around also. Dude, check out this beautiful kitchen. Solid <coughs> surface countertops. Yes. Pop-up power station there. Look at my cabinetry here, my storage. This is beautiful. Now look, I got yelled at one time because, you know, the thing with me and RVs mm -hmm. is, sure, this is for pantry space. This can be, you know, whatever you want it to be. Sure. Um, but it's your RV. Right. So if you want to make it a fishing cabin or a hunting cabin, yes. the land of 10,000 lakes up here. Of course. So you got some of the yes. best fishing in the world. If you want to put your fishing lures right here. Of course. Quick grab and easy. Why not? Because mm -hmm. it's yours. I had a lady get so mad at me. Uh huh. She was like, absolutely not. That's where you got to put the sponge. And then one guy was like, well, no, that's actually where you put this at and the other thing. It's, if you paying for if I'm paying for it, sit down. Right. Sit down. <laughs> it is my RV. Flush mounted three burner cooktop, backsplash applique there, mm. oven here, and fridge. Check out what's behind you. You're going to love this. Oh, man. 12 cubic foot Norcold fridge freezer combo, four door. Look at this beauty. With the wood paneling. All your beverages, anything you're thinking of, right there. Yes. Ice for your beverages, all your food. That's enough beer Ready for to, to catch again. It is. Yeah. Wine. Great tailgate, right? Unlimited what you could do. See, that's the other thing. We got such great tailgates up here. We do. Um, between, I mean, the Badgers, Vikings, the Vikings, Packers, the Packers. The Wild. Yes. Oh yeah. And unlimited then, sports. North over. Dakota. North Dakota, and South Dakota, the yes. Buffaloes. I mean, the yes. Cowboys. Yes. They're, some of the best tailgating on the planet happens at those universities. Yes. Now, I'm a Bears fan. You're a Giants fan. Yes. Um, Big so, Giants fan. Uh, my distaste for the Packers. Mm -hmm. My hatred just mm -hmm. runs deep in the yeah. Life. Um, but they know how to tailgate. You they gotta do. Give it to I was them. gonna say, but they, they know, how to, know how to tailgate. Best 100%. sausage sandwich I've ever had in my yes. entire life. Was yes. one of those yes. games. I mean, yep. it's wonderful. Yep. So much love to the Packers fans <laughs> from a Bears fan because you know how to cook. Yes. Good little uh, additional storage spot right there. Um, that's for if you want to put, you know, really anything. I would say you could put a little bar in there, do some hanging clothes, ward storage, or fishing rods, all that good stuff. Just additional versatility. Now, uh, the other thing that I liked about this 30X when you guys picked it out, because uh, I'm big on separation of space. Sure. When you're out and you're reconnecting with the loved ones. Of course. Um, that's great. You want to be together. But at mm -hmm. the same time, you want to have a little bit of separation of space. You do. So I got my separate toilet and shower. Got the porcelain bowl there with the foot flush. Mm -hmm. The single surround walk-in with the glass doors, brush nickel fixtures. I mean, this is residential and nice. And if I need to, mm -hmm. I got me a ward bar right here so I can use this as hanger storage. Yes. If I, you know, while we're on the road. And then when I come out, somebody can be brushing their teeth, doing whatever right here at the sink space because you got the residential faucet right here. The undermounted stainless steel bowl too. I like how Integra does this because you don't have the bowl sitting on top where you have that seal that can get rotted and dirty, mm -hmm. you know, and you just got to replace it, you know, a couple of months after you get it. Got me another little medicine cabinet storage here. 
towel rack right there. Some more drawer storage, solid wood construction, full extension on these ball bearing drives. Just a really nice touch, but beautiful. Residential and beautiful. And then Mike, we come into the sanctuary. We got the solid pocket door, giving mm -hmm. us more of that separation of space. And right here, look at that. Storage, tons of storage up top. Now this is the 2021 Integra Esteem 30X, starting at $125,995, as low as $24.70 a day. You can hop on this. Well, Mike's giving me the evil eyes. I can feel it, because he's like, oh God, I can't believe you just cut me on this one. <laughs> See, that's why I never but tell you the price. that's what we do. That is what we that's do. That's what we do. Yeah. It's all for the customer. That's what we do. And so I, you have to come see us. And, and dude, you gotta, you gotta <clears> forgive <throat> me, because I never tell you the price until we start filming. True, <laughs> true. <laughs> so, but you know what? The, again, that's what we do. You know, we want the customers to be happy, yeah. to feel good about their purchase, not just today, but tomorrow down yeah. the line. Absolutely, and you so, know, at, at, at the end of the day, um, I tell people all the time, sure, what we're giving them is a, is a physical item. It's an RV. Of course. Uh, but more than anything, uh, my, my job is really to kind of relate to the customer that this is your chance to get out and you know, kind of make mm -hmm. those dreams come true. Mm -hmm. Some people are walking around and not even realizing that what they need to do is just get out and decompress. Right. We have been yes. for over a year yes. now. And yes. to just be able to get out not have to worry about buying a plane ticket right. or getting a hotel room where you don't know who's been in there. Of you don't course. know who you're going to be sitting next to. Of course. You got your space, your safety, your security, mm -hmm. your home Yes. in your RV. Yes. And with something like this where you got dual ACs, you got tons of storage, Shush, mirrored yes. board storage. I mean, you got entertainment back here. You got and a queen size bed. Yeah, I mean, look, look at all that storage. storage. I mean, I could get in there. I couldn't right. get out. I no. could get in. And our wives would yes. have it full up. <laughs> yes. We wouldn't have either one. Yes. <laughs> yes. You can forget about that noise. But this is where you don't have to worry about the stigma of RVing because right. it's not there anymore. And safety is most important. Safety, safety is, most is important. everything. Yeah. So. And they have made it so easy <clears throat> yes. for you to get into a great coach. So mm -hmm. we're just making it easy for you to get the great coach. Now, this is the staff pick. We are up here in the beautiful upper Midwest. You got Minnesota, you got Wisconsin, you got North and South Dakota, some of the most beautiful countryside, some of the greatest state parks. If you've never been to the Peace Gardens or Roosevelt State Park, any of those areas, the Black Hills, you have to get out and go see them. Just go see the Mount Rushmore. Yeah. I remember seeing it as a kid mm -hmm. years ago and haven't been since, but I remember that because yes. we went in my dad's RV. Yes. Drop us a comment down below deals or text deals to 46642 to get this Integra Esteem 30X starting at $125,995 or as low as $24.70 a day. You can't get a hotel that's this awesome. nice. No. Yeah. That is for just, that. That's so let's take a look outside because we that saw That sounds good. There's a lot paint. to see outside. There is. There's a lot to see inside and outside. Yes. Which is another reason why here at the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, we're, we're trying to highlight some things, but we won't really be able to cover all the details. Mm -hmm. But we got folks like Mike standing by who will walk you through, answer your questions. They can get you talking to a finance expert. They can get all the paperwork sent over to you. Postage are included for when you want to send it back in. And we'll even have this bad boy delivered to your couch. Right to your, your front door. Right yeah. to your front door. I say no couch. problem. I wouldn't want this coming into my couch. That'd be a little bit tough. All right, so here we go. Woo! Beautiful. This I mean, thing look is at the beautiful, beautiful paint job. I, I mean, got my LED floodlights. Yes, that full body paint job. Honey. And here's the thing. This engine, I tell you what, let's start up front. I'd mentioned the E450 Super Duty chassis. This is sitting inside. We got the 7.3 liter V8, 350 horses, 468 pounds of torque in this bad boy. Yes. On the 450 chassis, you're gonna be able to get up and go however you wanna go. You wanna and go tow. off grid? Yes. And tow. Yeah, and tow. So you can tow your vehicle right along with it, no problem. 7,500 pound hitch on this bad boy. <clears throat> so yep. Yeah, Mike's absolutely right. You wanna bring your vehicle, do it. You do have that 4,000 watt Onan generator on it as well. Mm -hmm. You got frameless windows, which we're gonna see here in a second. You got remote mirrors. So if you wanna control it while you're driving down the road, you don't wanna move it, have your co-pilot move the remote. You got the Hellwig helper springs, you got heated tanks and closed underbelly, the easy drive drive shaft, which is computer balanced. I mean, there are so many things on this Integra coach, it will boggle your mind. But one thing I want you to focus on, Mike pointed out on the inside, that beautiful privacy window in there, that is also a one piece fiberglass cap. That's something you do not see 
on Class C's. Very true. That is a something that Integra <clears throat> said, you know what, we're going to mm -hmm. do to make it stand out. Yes. Why does that stand out? It's one piece, less wind resistance, less chance for water to get in, yes. lighter weight, and that aggressive profile is more aerodynamic. You're not going to have that yes. rocking when you're driving down the yes. road because that stinks. Almost windy days. Yeah. So let's just cruise around this bad boy. The other thing I like what they did, so we have these storage doors that are strang supported. I like this because I don't have to worry about lifting it up and holding it. Mm -hmm. It's already there. I now have both hands free yes. when I want to load something in. We got the rotocast in here, which is easy to clean. Mm -hmm. So if we get it dirty, just break the sprayer out or the water hose, yes. hose yeah. it down. And then when we're tailgating. Look at that. I got my outside entertainment under my awning. All you need is a, you know, a nice chair, recliner, right. nice cocktail, and you can. There we go. Yeah. Of course, I mean, you know me with the uh, outside bourbons. <clears throat> yes. I like to do my three finger pours. Okay. With my outside okay. bourbons. <laughs> yeah. And we got those padded club chairs of here. Of course. Candle World and Gander. Yes. Makes life so much easier. Yes. Got my propane access right there. Uh huh. More storage. E rated tires, too. Mm -hmm. Those are aluminum so, so. rims on there with the E rated Beautiful. tires. Some of the best tires you're going to mm -hmm. get for traveling and for RVs. A lot of sport there. Yes, a lot of sport. Oh, tremendous. Uh, plus you own those uh, you know, brake supported axles and things too, which mm -hmm. are nice to have too. More storage under there with the motion sensing light that comes on for additional security. This is where I think you could put like the camp chairs, you know, the grill if you want to throw that in there. Just another good spot for storage. Once again, with that rotocast, the security light, <clears throat> easy to clean off. Solid mounted ladder going over the top, giving us additional security to get up and down. There's a, a, a good example of our frameless windows. So not only does that just look good going down the road, you got less chance of these seals busting than the exposed seals. So having that is such a nice hitch. We got four by four sewer hose storage. There's a 75 pound hundred hitch with the seven way. Slide toppers too, man. Yeah. That's important because yeah. one of the things where you can really get into trouble <clears throat> is if something falls on the slide or gets in between the slide and the coach. So having that there, just another little layer of security to make sure you don't have to worry about that maintenance later on down the road. Got my main terminations right there, gray and black tank, outside <clears throat> shower with hot and cold, plus all of my connections right here, city water connection, tank flush, and there you can see all the way the controls, access to the drains, the whole nine, easy to get to, which is what Integra does when they make their coaches. Of course. They make it easy to operate, easy to take care mm -hmm. of. More storage here. My 30 amp plug. Of now, this is what I thought was unique too about the Integra. It's a 30 amp service mm -hmm. with dual ACs. Yes. Very yes. nice touch. Yes. Very nice touch. And there's my Onan 4000 watt generator. More storage. Deep storage. My big giant mega windows. And all of this starting at $125,995 or as low as $24.70 a day. Great price. Where can we take this, Mike? Anywhere, unlimited. I mean, right. you can go anywhere in this vehicle. You can go to Florida, you can go to Arizona, you can go to the mountains, you can go to Yellowstone Park. This you can go comfortably, drive down the road. It's not gonna shake, aerodynamic, nice, comfortable, easy to get in, in and out. Uh, a lot of them are kind of tight to get in and out. This one is not, I'm a bigger guy, so right. I can actually get in, no problem. Sit down, and I'm comfortable. Up. Comfortable ride. Yes. Great visibility. Lots of room. Yeah, so you have the additional <laughs> angle on the windshield, too, giving you additional visibility. Just, you know, Mike's nailing it. He's right about getting out and seeing America the safest way possible. If you don't have a tow vehicle, this is your way to do it. Yes. Having a Class C, um, a white, now, uh, I still remember. I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. My dad had a Scotty. Do you remember the Scotties? Did you ever see those, those uh -huh. little ones? On top of the truck, the one on the back no, of the no, truck? No, 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 they were Class C. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah they had the Scotty uh, truck campers. Yes. This is actually the Class C. Yes, yes, wasn't, I do. Wasn't very, they're not no. around anymore for a reason. No. Uh, I can't remember where I parked today. Mm -hmm. But I remember every time we went out in that yes. Class C. That was 40 years ago. Yes, yes. So, it's all about creating memories. It is. For sure, with and your we, family, with loved ones, all day. And imagine yep. taking the guy's trip mm -hmm. or the lady's trip, because you have some good wineries up here too, from what I've heard. We I do. haven't experienced them yet, but I've heard some really good wineries. Yep, good wineries, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Dakotas, and again, you know, four or five, you got your family in, friends, go mm -hmm. out, good, great time, good, comfortable ride. And, and beautiful look. I mean, God, it's beautiful. Look at, that. look at that. I love the color. That this is, is a full great body paint. look. 
some of the best warranties you're going to get in the market as well. And again, at an awesome price. Yeah. And a one-piece fiberglass roof up top as well. Yes. Fully walkable, easy to take care of. I mean, you're talking about so many features. Here's what you need to do. We got folks like Mike standing by. You've seen how great he is to talk to, how great he is to work with. He's ready to help you Thank find you. the RV that's right for you. All you got to do is drop us a comment down below deals or text deals to 46642. This Integra Esteem 30X starts at $125,995 or as low as $24.70 a day. 32 mm -hmm. feet, 6 inches long, 14,500 pounds. You got a 47 gallon fresh tank, 41 gray, 31 black, can easily sleep 6 to 8 people, 7,500 pound hitch, 4,000 watt generator, so you can go off the grid if you want. But this one can be yours. They will bring it to you for as little as $24.70 a day. Now, Mike, you know we got 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. We do, yes. And over 20,000 on our lots right now. Yes. We got over 160 locations with Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Yes. If you want to find the RV that's right for you, you might be saying, hey, Chris, this is great, but I need bunks. Or, hey, we just need something that's a couple's coach, something that's mm -hmm. a little bit shorter. With over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, something's right for you. To get in on that, all you gotta do is drop us a comment down below, fresh, or text fresh to 46642. Now, you know we got the competition running around. Yep. And you know they, mm -hmm. they got shows going on too. Of course. They can't do deals like the Ultimate RV no. Show. They will try, but no. they can't. Um, and, and limited inventory. Yeah, we have limited, limited inventory for us. We have unlimited inventory. Whatever you're looking for, we have. Yeah. So please text us and we'll find that for you. No Absolutely. problem. Very easy, simple. Yeah. You can go to the competition. You can also put a screen door on a submarine. It'll yes. accomplish the same thing in yes. my mind. Yes, yes. But give us a chance. If we don't beat that deal, we'll give you a thousand bucks in cash guaranteed. So drop us a comment down below fresh or text fresh to 46642. Ultimate RV Show National Tour will continue. Mike, thank you, Thank buddy. you, thank you. Hang on, we got more coming. RV travel is about more than the destination. When you're traveling like this, vacation begins where your driveway ends. Skip the flights. We can get the whole crew in the camper and just go. Add more pit stops. Oh, I love seeing the kids exploring. And make more memories along the way. When your four-year-old says, this is the best day ever, you're doing it right. Your vacation begins at Camping World. Sean Parr back with Zach and Mary, and we're talking gun safety first because we're going to talk targets, we're going to talk skeet shooting, and of course, something that everybody loves to do, I love shooting skeet, but something I never really thought about before we talk about safety, we also have to talk about hearing, right, Zach? Yes, hearing protection, huge. If you're going to be out shooting a gun, you better protect your ears. Yeah. I didn't always do a good a job of that when I was younger, and I'm paying for it now, and she gets mad at me because I never hear. Uh, he calls it selective hearing. Yes. Yeah. I think that's just being married, right? I think that's uh, what it's all about. You know? Sorry, my wife does the same thing. But this is what it's all about. I mean, we have everything you could possibly need, especially for the kids uh, when they're around. If you're getting the kids out there to do a little target practice and do all that stuff, this is what it's all about. We got everything you could possibly need. And then, of course, goggles and eye safety as well as a big thing. Yes, protect your eyes is important too. When you're out shooting skeet, a lot of times, if a skeet comes at you and you break it, there's things flying through the air and it's just better to have something to cover your eyes. If, yeah. you, if you're gonna be uh, like hunting ducks though, or some birds or whatever, th these smaller ones are what you wanna wear so that it doesn't get in the way. You wouldn't really wanna be wearing a big silencer. Well, next to it, you have the noise canceling headphones yeah. so you can still hear people talk. Yeah, yeah and these are uh, what's great too. It's are so convenient when we're, we're out uh, shooting skeet or target practice or whatever we're doing. We're talking about convenience, which brings us over here. And I love this section because, Zach, this vest is all about convenience, right? Yes. When you're shooting skeet, having these pockets to keep your shells in is very handy. And having the back pouch to keep other stuff uh, keeps everything you need right there with you. Same as these. Mm -hmm. Good shell belt, pouch, if that's what you prefer. Yeah, so. it gets right on the belt there, and of course, very convenient. And then, of course, when you, when you talk about uh, your your actual gun, your shotguns, tell me a little bit about uh, this section right here because this was very interesting. Yeah, so this is your choke tubes for your shotgun. So we have a wide array of things here, and there's a lot going on. If you come down here, you're going to hunt turkeys with this. It keeps your pattern very tight. 
That way it's more concise. If you're gonna shoot skeet, I need a really wide pattern. So I'm gonna go something like this with the sporting clays. It just makes your pattern fan out wider. Okay, hold on just a second. You're telling me I can control the pattern. So no wonder some of my friends are so dialed in on shooting <laughs> skeet. I just thought they were really good at yeah. shooting. They're probably putting that in your gun. <laughs> Yeah. So your pattern's very small and you're missing where they're shooting wide. Yeah, because if it's me and I'm shooting skeet, I need the widest target possible. And I see, I notice the wider it goes, the more expensive it goes. Well, it's not that really expensive at all, especially if you're a member of our good Sam, which is great. And this is what it's all about. So we talk safety. We're talking convenience always when it comes to whether it's hunting or fishing or anything at Gander RV and Outdoor and, of course, at Camping World as we continue with the ultimate RV show. Sean Parr with Zach and Mary, and this is what it's all about. We'll be right back. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Hard to believe, but that is it. Wow, the end of day three, week number seven. It flew by like that. I know. I'm Boy, did we learn a lot, didn't I'm we, Mary? I'm sad for it to be ending. Yeah, we had uh, we just talked about gun safety and all this yes. great stuff. And now, you know, it's been a bizarre kind of weekend, but I think we always like to end things on a positive note, Zach. We're going to give something really cool away. Something very cool. Mary, what is it? It is the Coleman Lantern 17B travel trailer one of my absolute favorites and uh if they're not registered if they register like right now they would be registered for the entire giveaways over the next several weeks where we're going to be and uh you can register right now can't you oh yeah you can register right now by texting <laughs> you are vs there you, there you go four, four six six, six four, four two, two. <laughs> y'all are and, amazing oh sorry 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 now do we want to know who the winner is all right let's give it away a coleman 17b right now somebody's gonna win who is it mary uh, oh. what are you doing what what is well. happening right now <laughs> what is happening right now <laughs> That explains some things. This explains. I, I'm explains so sorry things. for telling you you needed coffee. I knew Four it. Dollars. See, uh. we were doing that giveaway earlier, and the bike moved from side to side. There's been some bizarre. Anyway, let's uh, give away a 17 B. Let's make somebody happy. All right, we ready? Ooh. The winner is Walter, 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 Bert, Walter, Bandoff. Walter, Walter Bangoff, right? Yes, Walter Bandoff. Bandoff. Wow. Yes. I love it. Walter, congratulations. You got yourself a Coleman 17B. Week yeah. number eight, we will continue on our 10-week national tour. Of course, we had a little bit south. We got Kansas, Missouri, guys, Iowa, Illinois, Nebraska. Oh, love I love Nebraska. Nebraska. Oh, we're so looking forward Big to that. country. I mean, we've gotten over 10 million people to follow us along, wow. and we can't thank you guys enough for taking such good care of us. I want to thank Chris Young. I want to thank Ian Baker and our entire crew who worked so hard to take you across the country on this, the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. You guys ready to check out? I, When's the I Eddie think season? so. <laughs> <laughs> When's the Eddie season? I love it. Yeah. For Zach, for Mary, I'm Sean Parr. We can't wait to see you next week. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, guys. Thank you.